All right, everybody. Welcome to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz up here running the camera. We're getting ready to start the Region 2A Girls and Boys Region Championship Games. We'll have four games tonight. Let's see. With the first game that you're going to be watching is the girls. Turner County. They come in as a number three seed against the Atkinson County girls. They're the number two seed. The second game will be the Clinch County uh, boys, which are the number two seed, and they'll be playing the number three seed Charlton County Indians. The fourth game will be the Clinch County girls, the number one seed. Where they'll face the number four seed Charlton County girls also. And to end the night, it'll be the number one team seeded Lanier County. We'll face the number four seed Turner County. Now we're gonna try to do all four of them. I won't talk as much, probably in the two that the Panthers aren't participating in, but I will talk some. I'm gonna have coach Terrence George come up here in just a little bit, head coach of the boys team. And then I'll bring coach Chase Daniels up at halftime of the first game to get with them but we're getting ready for the lady rebels from Atkinson County they're going to be playing the Turner County Titans from Ashburn Georgia or to be a great game coach J.B. Bergeron is the head coach does a great job at Atkinson County and uh, Kendra Vince is the assistant coach of course uh, my buddy over there the athletic director Carl McGowan from Atkinson County, so I'm going to step back while they do the announcements. In the Atkinson County Lady Rebels, your starting lineup for the Turner County Lady Titans. Forward, number one, Sierra number two, Jameer Flowers. Guard, junior, number three, Talia Martin. Number four, Alana Elvis. Center, number 11, Destiny Collins. Guard, junior, number five, Zanaja Lawson. The Lady Titans are coached by Coach Rainey. And now, your starting lineup for the Atkinson County Lady Rebels. Freshman guard, number one, Jakari Northcutt. Kamari Moore. Center, Sear, number 22, Manny Worth. Guard, Sear, number 25, Savannah Williams. And four, sophomore, number 30, Bernard McCray. The oh. Lady Rebels are close by Coach Bergeron. All right, there's your starting lineup for both teams. Atkinson County, the Lady Rebels will be in their white uniforms. Turner County will be in their black uniforms. Starting lineup for Atkinson County, Jakari, number two, number three, Moore, number 22, Worth, number eight, Williams, and number 30, McCray. Turner County, number two, Fowler, number three, Martin, number four, Edwards, number five, Lawson, and number 11, Collins. We're getting ready for some basketball. Worth will be jumping for Lanier against Fowler. Turner's in their black uniforms. Tell you what, they're gonna have to watch Jakari, number two, and more. Jakari can hit that outside shot. That's number 25, Williams also. That'll be a foul or three-second violation. That'll be a turnover. Here come the Rebels. Moore, she's the quarterback on the basketball. She'll kick it out over there. Boom, a big three-point basketball by Jakari. Rebels lead three to nothing. Good hustle. Jakari down here playing defense. Here come the Titans down, now, down three to nothing. 
Number four traveled, that's Edwards. That'll be a turnover, here come the Rebels. Moore is the ball handler, she'll bring it down. For Atkinson. There's another three-pointer, boom! Got it again, Moore with another one. Or Jakari with another one, Moore with another assist. Six to nothing now. Turner needing a basket. Worth will steal it. Here come the Rebels. Moore bringing it down. She looks, fakes the pass, lays it. Oh, man, they said she traveled. Man, that was a good play. Rebels jumping the press. Titans trying to get it to half court. They got to hurry up. She's backing up. There's another steal. Jakari with it again, over to Moore. Moore back down to number 30, back to Moore. Moore's gonna slow it down. Got it to Worth in the middle. Back to Moore. Moore pull up, 10 footer, won't go. Rebound Titans, here they come. Long pass out to number three. She'll lay it up, it won't go. Put back up and in by number 11, that's Collins. Moore bringing it down for the Rebels. Little crossover, she'll drive in, trying to kick it out. They said she traveled again. Another turnover by the Rebels. Another turnover, oh, and they turn it right back over to Turner. Martin bringing it down. They'll kick it out to number two. Long three off the back of the rim won't go. Fowler with the shot. Moore back down. Got it to Decoy. Good hustle by the defense. That was number four, Edwards, with a little bit of block. Turner right back down the court. Six to two. Rebels on top. A long three won't go. It's going to go off the Rebels. McCray, it come off the backboard pretty hard. Couldn't hold on to it, so Turner has it. Fowler with another three wrapped around the rim. Won't go. Collins fighting for it. Couldn't hold on to it. But the Titans will keep it. The winner will advance tomorrow for the championship game. The loser will play tomorrow for third and fourth. The winner will face the winner between Clinch and Charlton. Six to four now. Here comes Turner trying to tie it up. Lays it up and in. Good shot by Edwards. Six to six now. Jakari back down, won't go. Worth had it, lost it. Here comes Turner. They're going to slow it down a little bit. Lawson with the ball. Got it over to number four. She'll drive in. Got it. Edwards with another basket. Turner with their first lead of the night, eight to six. There's a three, boom, got it. Williams, she'll shoot your eyes out and Turner will take a timeout. We will too, we'll be back in just a second. Be merry this holiday season at the Merry Acres, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. All right, everybody, we're back. Rebels with the lead now, nine to eight. They get a little pressure. 
Turner will beat the press, tried to get it. Good steal down low by number 30. That was McCray, it'll be a foul on Turner. Rebels to keep it. Chikari bringing it down now. No more, excuse me, bringing it. Oh, she was trying to get it to number five. Fullmore. They'll lose it out of bounds. Here come the Titans. Rebels trying to pressure them up. Collins with the ball now. She'll kick it back out to Edwards. Long three by the Titans won't go. They got the rebound. We appreciate everybody from Atkinson County and Turner County watching Creek Box. We're going to be here for all four games. Now, I'm not going to talk as much right now. We got four more games tomorrow. Oh, there's a steal. More with it. She'll take it all the way. That's going to be a foul on number four. That'll be Edwards. That'll put more at the free throw line for the Rebels. Good shot there by Moore. The first one will go. 10 to 8 now. Lady Rebels on top. Moore will miss the second one. Here comes Turner. There's a steal by the Rebels, and here they come. Moore with the basketball. Pull up, 10-footer, won't go. Rebound in there by Jakari. Good pass by Jakari down low. Got it to number 30, McCray, and she'll put it in. 12-8 now, Rebels lead. Mm, Jakari almost got that one. Turner with the ball. Good move there by Fowler. Got her up in the air and sidestep and put it up. 12 to 10 now. Number five driving in more with the rebound. Got it again, another block. Edwards with two blocks for Turner, back to back. Rebels will keep it. Jakari will pull up at the free throw line and won't go. Fowler with the rebound. She'll give it over to number five, Lawson. Long three won't go. Moore with the rebound. Out to Jakari. Look out. There's Williams. Oh, off the back of the rim. Rebound Rebels. Moore said, I'll take a try. Overshot it. Rebels save it, but the Titans have it. Twelve to twelve. We're all tied up now. Moore bringing it down for the Rebels. You give it up to Jakari. Good pass, Jakari down low to number five, Full Moore, and she'll lay it in. Rebels with the lead again, 14 to 12. Here come the Titans. They'll get across to half court. Fowler throws up a long three, won't go. Moore with the rebound. She'll pull up at the free throw line. Oh, would not get the bounce. Oh, she dribbled out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. Rebels have it. Y'all shoot us a text. Let us know where you're watching from. We'll give you a shout out. Moore with the long three. Won't go. Rebound in there, number five. She'll draw a foul. But I hope it's not only it's going to be on number 10. That is Sanders. Fullmore at the free throw line for the Rebels. First shot on the way and got it. 
57 seconds to play here in the first. Second free throw on the way, got them both. Good job there by Fulmore. Four points for her tonight, 16 to 12. Here comes Turner, she'll pull it up, lays it up, it won't go. Got the foul on here. Number 30, that's gonna be McCray, that'll be her first. First shot on the way, got it. Good shot there by number three, Martin. Won't get another one. Good re offensive rebound there by number 20. That was Harding. Turner will throw it up. Can't get the roll. Fullmore with the rebound. Back out to McCray, and here come the Rebels. Moore bringing it down. Jakari with a long three. Boom! Got it. That's three for her here in the first. 19-13 now. Turner wants a timeout. We'll be back in just a second. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Aver House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right. Watching from Pearson, Georgia, Andron Matthews. Brother, we appreciate you tuning in to Creek Box. Lady Rebels on top, 19, 13, 17 and a half seconds to play here in the first. Titans with the ball. There's a steal. Williams got it. They'll give it out to Moore. Moore, good bounce past Jakari, missed the layup. Beautiful pass from Moore. That's going to do it. The clock will run out. So after one quarter, it's Atkinson County 19, Turner County 13. We'll be back in a little bit. And then a Lonky Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy truck are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. go like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodlin' Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. All right, folks, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy. Thank you. That for Miss Dolly? Thank you. Tell her we love her. Boy, that's good stuff right there. Dolly, big cage wife. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. That'll wake you up. White chocolate butter, yes sir. Oh, I'm sorry folks. <laughs> 21 13 now, Rebels on top of Turner. This is game one. We have three more after this one. The winner will advance to 
the Mars Girls Championship. Tyquavius Williams watching from Pearson. Let's go K3, Qua Williams. We got number five, Fulmore, back at the free throw line. She'll miss her first one. Oh, it won't go. McCray will put it back up. Jakari tried to put it in. It won't go. Here come the Titans. Game two will be the boys. Clinch County Panthers against the Charlton County Indians. Game three with the girls. It'll be the Clinch County Panthers against the Lady Indians from Charlton County. And the nightcap will be Lanier in the boys. Lanier County, they're the number one seed. They'll be playing Turner County, the number four seed. We have a foul, number three, Martin at the free throw line. She'll miss her first one. We're just starting the second quarter. <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> no. Aren't you a little bit diabetic? You will be in a minute. <laughs> Good shot by number three. Martin will make her second one. That'll make it a seven-point lead. 21-14, Rebels on top. Oh, Jakari lost it. Here come Turner. Lays it up and in. Good job by number five. That's Lawson. 21-16 now. Moore throw up a three. Boom. There it is. Man. I tell you what, Atkinson County is one of the best shooting three teams I have seen this year. They have five right now here in the first half. Collins. Oh, she missed it. Williams with the rebound. Here comes more for the Rebels. Kind of waiting on Coach Terrence Joyce to come up so we can talk a little bit. Boom, another one. Jakai, that's number four for her tonight. Twenty-seven to sixteen. Collins is trying to put it up, won't go. McCray with the rebound, here come the Rebels. Moore pull up, jumper won't go. <laughs> Terrence is blind, isn't he? Do like that, Daniel, see if he can see you. <laughs> he's, he's locked in on the basketball. 27 to 16. Rebels lead. Look out, Moore with another. Oh, it just did miss that one. <laughs> I thought he was looking right at me then. I don't know why I'm waving at him. I got his phone. All right, they want to call a timeout. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912 284 one seven two eight. We also offer land home packages. Clayton Homes of Waycross. At Richards and Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday. 
All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got my good buddy and the head ball coach of the Clinch County Panthers, Coach Terrence George. Coach Terrence, we appreciate you taking the time to come talk to us a little bit. Hey, man, I appreciate you having me on, man. Man, it's going to be a great day of basketball. Four games today, four games tomorrow, man. But uh, uh, you're sitting here and enjoying the girls' game between Atkinson and Turner right now, but you'll play next. Yeah, you know, a lot of great games today, man. We just hope to be a part of the greatness that comes from this, you know. Uh, should be good competition and uh, a lot of excitement and, and a lot of crowd noise as we get deep into the night. Man, uh, of course, the Panthers are playing Charlton County. We split with Charlton. We lost at home, and then we went on the road. It's hard to win over in Folkestone, but we did that and did it pretty handily the second time. Yep. I was talking before the game. Our worst game of the year to me was right here in Homerville when we played Charlton. We yeah, started a little slump for about three or four games at that point. Yeah, that's right, man. It, it, you know, it really was uh, the start of what we consider to be a slump in which we played, you know, some, some bad basketball, in, you know, uh, for a couple of games right there, you know. And Charlton came out real hot and uh, kind of took advantage of the moment, you know, and uh, they really are. Uh, really handled us uh, for the most part of that game. We did battle to try to come back, but ran out of time right there, you know. And so, you know, we prepared and got better the second time around. It was a different result. And so we're looking forward to the day to try to just keep the momentum that we have going and, and look to just, you know, win and advance on to the championship tomorrow. Well, when we were in that little slump there, you made an offensive change, and you kind of got three guards in the game with Johnson, man, and it's – lit a fire it seemed like up under the panthers man we played just so much better it seemed like and we're shooting a lot better what how is that yeah you know we went uh, the, the biggest change was we took bail and, and moved him from the perimeter and put him down in the paint and started putting more pressure on the uh, guys that are you know down low and having to defend bail and his quickness and his ability to jump and things of that nature and so we added another guard on the perimeter uh, we wrote, you know, we mainly uh, ran Johnson for those uh, past couple of games. Um, so we look to keep rotating that and look to keep trying to get Bell inside the paint and see if there's anybody who can match up with him down there, which, you know, at this point in time, he's kind of really exposing them and taking advantage of it at the moment. Well, man, we're coming off the big win, probably one of the biggest wins of the year. We beat Lanier County by 20 here at the house, the last regular season game after losing to them in, in Lanier by five. Of course, they ended up being the number one seed. We have to play Charlton. Um, man, getting to Charlton, what what does Charlton do that kind of creates a problem for us? You know, man, Charlton plays hard, man. They, they have that guard. You know, he um, he's probably putting in about 40% of their points, man. He just never comes out of the game. He never gets flustered. He just plays, man. You know, he's a really good player, and uh, he has a great attitude, man. And so you never see him getting flustered or anything like that. And so he's a challenge for us, man. So we look to try to limit the, the amount of points that he scores um, and keep the you know the other three-point shooter from getting off to a good start and just look to just really, you know, put pressure on them to have to get back and cover our guys on defense. And, man, Lanier, they're a three-point shooting team. You know, they play Turner. They beat Turner twice. They beat them by one. And Turner and I think three at home, both of them very good. They match up well, Turner and, and Lanier does. Uh, well, it wouldn't surprise you who won that game, would it? No, it wouldn't surprise me at all. So, you know, we look forward to taking care of our business, you know what I'm saying, and, and just handling what we need to handle and do our part to get to the championship. Uh, like you say, you know, Turner and Lanier has had some very close games um, this year. And so they match up well with one another, you know. And so Turner always plays hard. They've always been scrappy. And so, you know, they have a chance to win just as much as anybody else today, you know. And so I know they're coming in as, as the four seed, but, man, at this point in time of the season, man, no, seeding don't matter. Whoever shows up and plays, that's what matters the most. Well, man, I can't get out of here without talking about what Bell did against Lanier the other night. Man, he had 20 – I had 28 points. He hit about four or five threes. It was like that video game when we were kids, man. When you got on fire, you couldn't miss. You'd shoot from half court. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I mean, it was just unbelievable. 
Oh. Man, the kids, want, man, were they excited after the game? Man, they were excited, man. He had a tremendous game. You know, with about six minutes to go in the game, Lanier had 29 points and Bale had 28 points at I that know point. It. You know? I know it. <laughs> so he really, he himself outpaced Lanier for most of the game, you know. <laughs> man, he just had a great game. Um, you know, I took him out. With at one point gave him like a minute break and he was like, Coach, I'm not even tired. I'm like, I understand, son. But you know, for your sake, I do need to give you a break just That's to right. be on the safe side. That's you know? right. And so he really wanted that game, really wanted to win and uh put put us on his back and just played tremendous man. And so we expect him to come out tonight, do some of the same stuff and uh get us through tonight and look to do the same thing tomorrow night, man. To just really be a thorn in the side of the opponent. Well, do the kids know how important this game is tonight? to our season and having a home field advantage or we had a good week of practice coach is everybody healthy good week of practice everybody healthy man they know what's at stake right here you know and so we're looking forward to the challenge man and so you know hopefully whenever the, when the ball's thrown up we you know we put our best foot forward you know and that's the plan well coach you're doing a great job we love you man we appreciate you taking time for us and i'll have you back on here tomorrow night good luck to tonight's game hey we appreciate it man thank you for having all right us. man all right, everybody, that was Coach Terrence George, the head coach of the Clinch County Panthers. Man, have done a great job for Clinch County in basketball. He's coached girls and boys. Rebels are starting to pull away with this one, 31-19, 150 to play here in the first half. Uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. We got close to 1,000 people watching right now on Creek Box. This is game one of game four. Thirty-one nineteen, one thirty-nine to play here in the first half. Turner County is going to run a man-to-man -man on Jakari to keep her away from the ball. That tells me she is on fire, and she is. She's already hit, I know. Four three-pointers. I might have missed one when I was talking to Coach Terrence George. Probably did. Here come the Titans now. Fowler with the ball. Oh, she'll turn it over. Williams back out to Moore. Moore bringing it down. Number four will drive in. Got it blocked. Fowler blocked it. Plenty of time on the clock. Moore with a long three off the back of the rim. Oh, knocked out of bounds. Turner uh, Rebels will keep it. Did you try a piece? Oh, you already have? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boom, another three. Rebels on fire. Turner's going to call a timeout. 37 to 19, Axon County on top. We'll be back in just a second. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richard's Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross. 
All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got my good buddy and the head ball coach, <clears throat> excuse me, of the Lady Panthers, Coach Chase Daniels. Coach Chase, we appreciate you taking the time. Yes, sir. To visit with us, man. You're sitting here watching both teams play. You played both of them. Man, have you seen a better three-point shooting team than Atkinson County? Not since Lake Oconee last year. I, I am telling you. Jakari already has five three-pointers tonight. Is that number three? Yes, sir. That's number – no, that's, that's Moore. Number two. Moore's got two. Yeah, number two's got five. Wow. Williams has one. And that's 25? Yeah. Okay. They have a total of nine three-pointers here in the first half. I've been trying to watch between running around like a chicken with my head cut off, man. I'm having <laughs> to help Winston park buses outside. I'm having to uh, help teams get in locker rooms, make sure doors are locked and safe. You know, safety is our number one concern here. But, uh, man, this is fun, and, and uh, we should make a little bit of money. Uh, well, brother, and that's a lot of hard work on your end because the girls' champion was the reason we got to host it here at Clinch County. Next year, it'll roll over to the boys. That's right. Uh, but, man, I'm telling you, it's going to be packed. We already got over 1,000 people watching just here in game one, so I can't uh, – at the end of the night, I, I will be way up there. I can tell you that much. Uh, but looking at this, you played both of them. And I don't want to put you on the spot which one you'd rather play. I don't want to jinx you because you got a hard enough game. You're going to be game number three. Let's talk about a little bit about your opponent, Charlton County. Man, I mean, that's the thing. You, you can't even worry about either one of these teams. You better be worried about Charlton County. You know, Charlton started this, before the season started, they were going to be one of the teams in the hunt for the region championship, but then they had the injury bug. That's right. Took them out and uh, – uh, and we pretty much manhandled them here in Homerville. They they had two girls out. Now we were, well, it's just hard to win in Folkestone, but they have turned it on. Probably the hottest team in the region here. I would say right now I was talking to somebody outside, and I and um, I think it was some fans from the resource officers from Atkinson County, and um, I said just now, in my opinion, right now, at this at this point, that it'd be hard not to say that. Atkinson County girls and Clinch County boys were not the two, like not, I don't want to say the two best, but playing the, the best, best right now. I right would now. agree with that, I yeah. Think, I think that our boys are playing very well. And and I'm not saying our girls are not at all. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying that, that Atkinson County right now, <laughs> tonight they look really good. But That's now, right. before tonight I would probably say that that just at this point in the region that maybe Charlton's the hottest team. Because they girls. went to Atkinson County, didn't they, and, and beat? Yeah, uh, no, it was in Charlton. So we beat Atkinson County by three. And then Charlton played them at home and beat Atco by 21. That's after beating us. Right. No. Yeah, yeah, Charlton, yeah. Yeah, Charlton beat us and yeah. they turned around and beat the Rebels. Right, by 21. You know, that's but then But then Atco turned around and went to Turner and blew them out. And uh, and number 25 had eight three-pointers. I mean, it's just, I tell you, Coach, uh, JB's done a great job at Axon County. I'm sure you can remember. You're a little bit younger than me. <laughs> but the K. Relahan days, man, man. The, the, you, you didn't go to Axon County. And win in girls basketball. Well, and 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 uh, Coach Carl McGowan right over there sitting watching now that athletic director at Atco. He was a, a very prominent girls coach over there. That's for a while. exactly right. And I think they're related, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Miss Kay Relahan is his aunt. I got you. Well, that pretty much answers everything then. Yeah. Yeah, Coach Mount McGowan. We got to give him. He invited Creek Box to come over and do the game when y'all played over when the Panthers traveled over there. Uh, we appreciate him. He's doing a great job over there. But, man, getting back to our game, man, we're going to make a lot of money. But, man, the, I talked to you a little bit, and, man, the flu is just oh, – it's all over Clinch and, County. And listen how bad it is, Alan. I mean, of course, we're excited to be here. We're excited to host. We're excited for the opportunity that we have. But I have yet to have all of my players at practice – this week like there's been at least one out every every time and the ones that are there they're battling you know they're just not feeling good man it's going around and then since you and i talked this morning uh 
Janela Wilson texted me and said, Coach, uh, the school nurse is sending me home 101.4 oh, fever. Oh, man. And, um, and so we'll probably not have her tomorrow night either. And even if we did, she wouldn't be 100%. No, that's right. But she told me last night, she said, Coach, I, I just want you to know in case you think I'm, you know, uh, slouching or whatever. She said, I'm, I'm pushing as hard as I can. She says, but I don't feel good at all. And so we cut practice short for all of them. Just, you know, at this point in time, it's like rest and recoup, you know, recuperation is better than preparation at this point. Um, so we let them go home early, told them to hydrate, get some rest. And then she comes to school and bless her heart, she runs a 101.4 fever. The nurse sends her home. The nurse says, you know, talks to me and Miss Clifton says, I can't tell you, uh, I can't diagnose. You know, That's right. She said, but I'm sending her to the doctor. She said, to me, it's either the flu or a severe sinus infection. I got you. So, uh, anyway, messages me back. she messages me back and tells me she has the flu. Mm. Tested well, I hate positive. it, brother. It's, it's, I mean, it's all over. We did been some rec park games earlier last week, and it started hitting a lot of people then. It's just that time of year. It is. You know, uh, but, man, how important is it to finish first or at least second well, here, Chase, because the, the state playoffs, what bracket are you trying to stay away from? Well, I think right now you want to stay away from Green Forest as late as you can. So i tell you how to assure that is to finish number one seed. That's right. Um, then you'll be on the opposite side. You wouldn't see them until the state championship. I got you. If you made it that far. That's right. Um, man, they have <laughs> – they're a private school, you know. They're pulling in um, great talent there. Um, their center is six four. Oh my lord! And uh, Tiana told me she saw on uh, social media some clips of her dunking the basketball. Huh. Mm, so, I'll go horse if we play now <laughs> with the you boom. You get some boom, uh, yeah. We'll break so, the table. I've never seen a girl dunk it uh, yet. <laughs> and they beat one team 91-0 to zero this year. And who was that now, Chase, you're talking about? Green Forest. Green Forest. Now, Christian, what about Christian Academy. Montgomery County. They got a pretty good oh, team, man. too. Well, you remember last year we played Montgomery in, in, Montgomery. in the quarterfinals. That's right. And, uh, man, they've got they've got that Marley Bell girl. That's right. Who's just, just an outstanding player. And then they've got a guard to go along with her. And man, that that's a that's a dynamic duo right there. Um, we fought really hard last year to, to get past them at their place, and that yep. was a, that was a really tough game. Um, so they're going to be great. Green Forest, like I said, is going to be really good. Wilcox County is really good this year. Um, what about Lake Tate, Oconee? Lake, Lake Oconee, now they've been a sleeper. They've been hanging around. They weren't ranked real high, but now they've started climbing their way up, and I think they've only lost seven or eight games this year. All, you know, So they're going to be in contention. Um, Taylor County, who we beat in the Final Four, I think got everybody back. Um, you know, We beat them last year in the Final Four at BSU. Uh, they're really strong this year. I think they're ranked number two. Um, Man, it's, it, there's a lot of teams out there that are that are really good this year. Now, when will the state playoffs start, Chase, after the tournament? Mm, next week. Next week you'll play Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, something like that. They won't do the girls and the boys on the same night, right? right. They'll play I girls think, yeah, one night, it. boys the next. But getting back to your question, I think you want to be the number one seed as well because you get to host until the final four. If you were to keep advancing, you get to host all the way until the final four, which this year is at Fort Valley State. Well, now, Coach, uh, I've talked to some coaches, man, that they love to get on the bus and, and travel. Some coaches said, man, I want to be at the house. I'm one of them that wants, that wants to be home. Yeah. What kind of coach are you, man? Whatever makes the girls most comfortable. You know, I really, I really don't care. A lot of the I kids mean, like to get on the bus. They know they're going to stop, get a good meal. Sometimes spend the night if it's far enough That's away. That's right. That's right. I mean, that could be exciting, you know. Um, but, you know, there's some teams that have a very, very strong advantage at home. Turner traditionally plays a lot better yes, at home. Yes, sir. And I'm going to tell you, Lake Oconee, looking at their scores, you know, they've got that gym that's oh, – the bleachers are only on one side, and the girls – and it's just a wall and the team's on the other side. Like I used to do at the rec park. <laughs> we yeah. close one side off. That's well, right. Well, looking, looking at their record, um, they'll be in a close game or, or lose a close game on the road, and then they'll beat that same team by 18, 22 points at home. That's right. You know, That's right. And Turner found out, you know, when they went, all we wanted to do was 
uh, three years ago win that coin flip against Lake Oconee. That's right. And we got them here, which was huge. Oh, that man, year that was a great final. game. Um, but then Turner had to end up going to Lake Oconee last year and lost. You know, And, you know, that shocked me because Turner – with the, the, with the girl they had, I forget her name, man. They Burgess. was just. She's right down there. That, I mean, just unreal basketball players. Takia Burgess. That's right, Burgess. That name, I mean, they, there's always a Burgess playing in She's Turner County. She's been sitting with them on the bench down there. Uh, she loves to support them. Uh, but, man, but, uh, I hope to have you here tomorrow. Come back and talk to us. Went, look, if you lose, you're still going to play tomorrow at 4 o'clock yeah. or 5.30. Oh, no, you'll four get 4 o'clock. And then, of course, the losers for the boys will play at 530. But I'm going to tell you something. I know you got to get back to this second half. No, but, man. But you won't – I'll tell you what. Even if you're the one or two seed looking at the bracket, you're going to run into a buzzsaw in round two. Uh, the one or – whether you're the one or two seed, I'm going to tell you why. In the other region that we're paired against in round two, that's the that's the region with Early County and Terrell County. And both of those teams are ranked in the top ten. Both of those teams have only lost to each other in the region. So they're doing the same scenario right now, region tournament, and seeing who's going to be the one and two. But there's not going to be any difference in that's the one right. and two seed. Yeah, if, yeah, if you see what right. I'm saying. That's right. I would assume whoever wins that region is going to win a very close game. And so whoever – gets the number two seed is basically playing a number one seed well, in round two. I mean, and if you're like me, you'd rather play a team that's that's one than you playing a team that's already coming off a loss because they're going to play you harder. It always seems. That's like, no, you, you, you don't want to play Saban twice in one year <laughs> if you beat him the first time. You know, that, that's, that's what I'm getting at. Well, and, and again, you'd rather be that one seed than the two seed because the two seed – would have to go on the road to a one seed. You that's know? right. So if that's you're right. a one seed, you'll host a two seed. So, you know, that's that's big. But, man, looking at their records and – I mean, you don't ever want to look ahead, but you do kind of expect, that it, you know, that you'll be in the – hopefully the second round of the playoffs. And uh, you kind of look to see, you know, just – it's just interesting to look and say who who would we might play if this happens. If we end up in this seed, who, who would we may, maybe face in the second round, third round. And uh, looking at early county – Alan, they beat Glen Academy this year, non-region. That's a 5A and, school. And Glen Academy beat Brunswick. <laughs> and the last time we played Brunswick in the Georgia Southern camp, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> Tell me. But now, I, but now I will say that team that we played a year ago, they made the Final Four. Brunswick, they made the Final Four, and I think they were very senior laden. So may not be near the same Brunswick team, but any time – a single A school beats a five A school. Oh yeah, you yeah. just like you'd rather not play. Well, we played Ware <laughs> County this year. You know, I mean that's a, that's a good example. Ware well, County's and beat, a four and, beat, and five and A beat school. Coffee, you know. That's right. That's right. And we beat Coffee. Yeah. Uh, but, in overtime. But traditionally, Glen Academy and Brunswick High School they play some good girls basketball. Well, Chase, how long you been the head coach now? This is my fifth year. Fifth year, all right? Your first year. I mean, yeah, we've made it. What's the shortest we've exited since you've been the head coach? Second round. Second round. Mm. That's been four years ago, three years ago. Uh, it was my – it was Wilcox. My, Wasn't it Wilcox that beat yeah, us? It was my first year uh, – no, Turner beat us. Turner beat us. Turner here beat at us, home. Uh, here at home in the playoffs. But we won the region that year. Uh, my, my first year we won the region. That was the first time since 2001, since 2000, basically 20 years. Um, we won the region that year. So that was big. That's you know? right. And that was, uh, remember we had Zion Angel and, and that group, um, Sinai Small, Shenautica Wesley, Nyla West, Kara Kite, Taylor Webb, that whole group. Um, Zion Angel were juniors that year. Um, and, you know, we won region. That kind of kick-started in the next year. Um, the next year we won region again and ended up going to the state championship. Well, man, let me ask you this. And that's when we lost by four It's hard to, to win County. a state title. You won it last year. But now is it harder winning it the first time or trying to win it the second time? I think it's tougher trying to go back to back. I guarantee you it well, is. Well, for two reasons, three reasons really. But the two main reasons is 
the girls are hungry when it hadn't been done in a long time. That's right. You know, and not to say they're not hungry now, but it's like, it's just Nick Saban talked about it. Um, Urban Myers talked about it. A lot That's of right. coaches that have, you know, won it back to back have talked about it. And it's just a different, I don't know. It, it's just different after you've won. You're it. not as hungry. You know, yeah, so That's to right. speak. And um, ever and everybody that plays you knows you won state last year. So you got a big the, bullseye on yeah, your chest huge, every night. Huge bullseye on your back. Yeah, and, and it's just. Uh, and man, you don't get an easy game. That you know, this season's a good example. We won state last year. Got three starters back, but man, everybody gets up when they fight Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? I mean, it's that way. It's just you've got to play your best every night. Yes. Uh, and, and I'm not, you're kind of like me. I like to be the underdog most of the time. I want to be the underdog. Right. Uh, and it's hard to be an underdog when you've had the success that we've had over the last four or five years. Well, look at Kansas City. That's right. You know, they had a chip on their shoulder. Uh, you know, you could talk. You could hear the players that were being interviewed, you know. Yeah. Um, Patrick Mahomes, you know, he said in his post game, he said, Kansas City's never the underdog. You know, they, they took that personal, you know. That's right. And uh, had some sort of little extra motivation, like, because I think they were the underdogs. I know the divisional championship game uh, and then the Super Bowl, they were underdogs back to back. Yeah, they were. that's right. They were two and a half point underdogs against the um, 49ers. Yeah, and it's. And the uh, week before against the uh, um, Baltimore. Yeah, and then, you know, Coming off of winning state, it's kind of – you have to guard against that mentality of we're just going to kind of show up and win because we got clinch on our shirt. That's right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, that's not how it happens. That's not how it works. You know? well, looking out here, Coach, it looks like not unless Turner turns it up a lot. Rebels is up almost – they're up 19. Uh, is there, do you play these two teams the same way or do you play one different? Uh, you play them differently, but I'll tell you later how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you seen that coming, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I won't. I won't. I, not Wait, the, not you the, tell me tomorrow how you do it. How about that? Tomorrow not, night after the game. Not that, not that it's going to work out for us, but uh, you know we've got to play it. We, you know, obviously this week we practiced uh, 90. 99 percent of what we practice was obviously for Charlton. That's I mean, right. If you well, you get, got to. If you don't That's get right. past Charlton, it doesn't matter. That's right. Um, but then you know we face the face both of these teams twice, and both teams have really good strengths, you know, mm -hmm. and and they're different. That's right. They're different strengths. They're they're um, they're almost two completely different teams. Well, man, th th with Pearson, if you if Axon, if you don't get out there and cover them outside that three point line, they will blind you. Man, they're just so complete this year. Like, they've got post presence. They've got outside shooters. They've got speed. They've they've got um, they've got high basketball IQ. You know, that's right. They just uh, and they want it, man. You can just tell by the way they play. They play. They play hard. And, brother, you know you're going to have to compete with that for the next couple years. Yeah, which is good. I That's think. right. Well, we got good talent coming, too. The Panthers do. We you sure look do. back uh, from the rec park all the way to middle school, man, we got a good group of girls coming. Yeah, we do. I, well, I was very uh, excited about um, some of the eighth graders that we brought up, you know, to finish out the JV, right. JV games with us. I was very excited about some of those girls. And, um going over and um, watching my daughter Nora at the rec league. That's right. I would stick around and watch some of the 11 and 12 year old games of those girls that will be coming hey, up to middle school. We're going to have some and, hot. Uh, man, we're going to have some hot. <laughs> going to have some speed. Man. That's right. And i tell you what, I, Clint's girls basketball are going to be pretty good now That's right. for, for, a few, for a few years. Excuse me. That's right. Well, Coach, we love you, man. We appreciate you taking the time. And I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Yes, sir, man. Win or lose, we're going to be talking tomorrow. That's a 100% unless the good Lord comes back. <laughs> well, I hope it. I hope I'm in a good mood. <laughs> I do too, brother. Good luck tonight. We'll see you in a little bit, brother. Thank you all. All right. God bless you, man. Love you all. All right. There you go. My buddy, Coach Chase Daniels, the head coach. Man, we appreciate him taking the time to talk about the Panthers a little bit and the season, what's going on right now.
is all Rebels, 45 to 28. Uh, Jill Burns and Coach B's wife and family are watching in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. All right. I work right there in Bro Bridge, Louisiana. Darling, I'm pretty, pretty sure you know where that's at. Dang. That's Coach's, uh, JB's uh, wife, man. He does a great job with the Rebels. And they are up 45 to 28. This is game one, and we have over 1,200 people watching right now on Creekbox. We appreciate everybody from Atkinson County, Charlton County, Turner County, and Clinch County watching. Turner has got to do something to get back in this game. Because one thing about it, time is not on their side. Here comes Moore bringing it down for the Rebels. Up oh, there's a good steal by the Titans, and here they come. No, Moore will hustle back and knock it out of bounds. That was number four, Edwards, trying to get it down to get a layup. Oh, almost went in by Edwards. She got it back, throws it up again, or won't go. This time the Rebels will lock it up. And they're going to call traveling. And usually they'll call a jump ball, but not there. <laughs> Turner trying to get on it. Rebels trying to get it. He'll get it back to Edwards. She'll lay it up and another miss. Here come the Rebels now. Moore out front. She'll take it all the way. Good job, number three. Knocked it out. That was Martin. Rebels will keep it. I want to remind y'all, after this game, they'll probably take about a 15-minute break, and then the boys... Clinch County and Charlton County will be playing. The winner to advance to the championship game tomorrow between Lanier and Turner. Tonight's winner will play the winner between Clinch and Charlton also. They're going to call a foul on 21. That's Vickers. Turner at the free throw line. She'll miss her first one. 45 28, 116 to play in the third. She got her second one. Edwards did. Here comes Lanier now, 45 29. Now Jakari dribbling in, good move. We're gonna have a foul. That'll put Jakari at the free throw line, I think. They're gonna call that on number three, Martin. Jakari will be at the free throw line. I lost count. I know in the first half she had four threes. She'll miss her first one. Number 32, Taft coming in the game now for the Rebels. She'll come in for number 21, Vickers. She'll take a break. This is Kai. I'm watching y'all. Go Lady Rebels. All right. We appreciate you tuning in. Oh, she slipped. Good save there. Number 20 for Turner was there to get the ball. That was Harding. Rebels all over them. Taff with the steal. They're going to call a timeout, I think. Nope, a foul. On Turner, the Rebels will keep it. Long three off the rim won't go. 
me and Daniel will leave the camera. Probably you'll be able to see the stadium. We'll take a break here after this game. I don't know what the time, but we're going to find out. <laughs> hey. 46, 29, 30 seconds to play here in the third. Oh, Turner will turn it over. They've had opportunities to cut into the lead, but just cannot do it. Rebels chewing the clock now. Want to take the last shot. There's no shot clock on. Moore taking her time. Coach JB up. Moore will step inside the three. Oh, off the rim. Good rebound in there by number five, four, full Moore, and she'll put it up at the buzzer. Back to a 19-point lead. Rebels, 48, Titans, 29. We'll be back in just a second. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz up here running the camera. It's been all Lady Rebels from Atkinson County. Coach B got them ready to play tonight. They are up by 1948 to 29. They just want to choose some clock and get this one over with and move on to tomorrow's championship game. And we'll be streaming it live tomorrow also. Good shot, 14, got her own rebound, won't go. That's Smith. She'll give it to Fowler. Fowler will draw a foul, and that's gonna be on Jakari. We got about 1,300 people watching Creek Box right now. We appreciate everybody. First free throw up and in for number two, Fowler. 18-point lead now for the Lady Rebels. Make it 17. Good job by Fowler for Turner. Here come the Rebels now. Moore. She is the quarterback. She'll bring it down. She'll pull up. 32. Oh, they're going to call that on Taft. For the Rebels, she set a hard screen, I guess. She'll take a break, and McCray will come back in the game for the Rebels. We got a timeout. We'll take a break and run another ad, and we'll be back in just a second. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912. All right, here we come. Turner trying to be on a four to nothing run and she'll miss the three. Moore with the rebound for the Rebels. Oh, there's a steal by Turner. Fowler with the ball now. Looked like she passed it to herself. She lost it 
Oh, Fulmore threw it back, was trying to get it to Moore and hit. Boy, another good shot by Fowler. She hit Lawson right square in the face, bless her heart. 48-33, Turner trying to make a run and that's gonna be, no, she tipped it, no back court. Turner with another steal. They're going to lay it out to five. Lays it up and in. Lawson with the basket. Coach JB said, I've seen enough. Let's talk about it. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. All right, everybody, we're back. Here come the Rebels. Moore dribbled through one, lays it up. No, they said she traveled. Man, that would have been a good shot. Oh, she almost got the steal. Here come Turner. They are on a six to nothing run. Lawson will lose it out of bounds. Rebels right back with it. 6-10 to play in the game. Rebels trying to hang on in advance to the Region 2A Championship game tomorrow at 5.30. There's a good shot by Jakari. 50 to 35. Now Jakari will knock it out of bounds. That'll slow down Turner a little bit. They were on a six to nothing run. Oh, it'll be thrown out of bounds. Here come the Rebels now. Moore bringing it back. 50-35, up by 15. Look out! Oh, off the rim, won't go. Fullmore with the rebound. They'll give it right back to Williams. Back to Moore. Boom! Another three. Man. That's three for Moore tonight. Turner will get a basket. 53-37. That's two, four, five, six, seven, eight three-pointers tonight for Atkinson County. There's a pass down low. Good pass back out to McCray. She'll draw a foul. I'm going to tell you what, whoever plays the Lady Rebels tomorrow night, that's going to be the winner between Charlton or Clinch. They better get on the bus and ride with them and cover them starting tonight because they can shoot that good outside. Second free throw on the way by McCray. Made them both 55-37 now. Let me give a shout out to my buddy Adam over there at the Georgia, at the Georgia, at the Charlton Sports Network. Appreciate everybody from Charlton County getting ready to tune in. The boys game between Charlton and Clinch, both of them. Boom, another three. That is six three-pointers for Jakari tonight. Oh, that was, that was number two, right? Oh, it was a two? Man, I thought it was a three, all right. 
Well, she must have touched the line. That one will be short. Williams with the rebound, and that'll be a, a jump ball. Turner will keep the possession. 4.06 to play. It's a 20-point lead now by the Rebels. Moore bringing it down for the Rebels. Under four minutes now. Moore trying to get it to Williams. Williams back to Moore. Moore thought about it. She'll square up and drive in. Throws up an eight-footer. Won't go. Got her own rebound. And a new shot clock. Oh, there's a steal by Lawson. She's got it, and Turner has it. Here they go, they're gonna throw it up. Good shot there by number four, Edwards. Good pass, Jakari Rebels right back down the court. They're gonna keep it at a 20 point lead, 59-39. Fowler pulls up, can't get it to go. Taft fighting for it, or excuse me, McCray. Rebels will have the possession. Three oh four to play in the game, folks. Oh, good pass back and a great shot by McCray. Biggest lead of the night, 22 points now for the Rebels. 2.45 to play in the game, and the clock is running. The Lady Rebels will advance to their first region championship, and my Lord, I can't remember when. It's probably been 20 years or longer. Oh, Moore tried to bounce it off of her. Good save by Turner. She'll drive in and got it. Lawson with the basket. Moore trying to dribble it across. They're going to call a foul on Edwards, or on Lawson, excuse me. Not in the bonus yet. 2.18 to play. What a great job Coach JB has done with these Lady Rebels. 24-point lead now by the Rebels. 63-41. So we can go ahead and pencil in the Rebels. From Atkinson County and the girls, they will advance to the championship tomorrow. And they will be playing the winner out of tonight's game that comes on at seven between Clinch County and Charlton County. Next game coming up, folks, will be boys. It'll be Charlton County, the number three seed, playing Clinch County, the number two seed. Basket by Turner will cut the lead. Coach JB's got a lot of his young girls in now. That'll be a foul on number five. That's Lawson. Moore looking to bring it in. Got it in to number 12 for the Rebels. That is Merrill. Merrill take the shot off the rim, won't go. Here comes Turner now, number four, that's Edwards. All the way, lays it up and in. 1.15 to play, the clock is running. Me and Daniel's gonna take a little break after this game. We're gonna leave the camera rolling. Y'all can watch them warm up. We're gonna eat a cough drop and wait for game number two.
Before we get out of here in game one, I need to thank all our sponsors. It's Homerville Jewelers, Clinch Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program, Dre's Snack Shack, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy. All you got to do, folks, is call your prescription in. They'll text you. You ain't got to get out of your car. Pull back up in the parking lot. They'll bring it out to you. Pizza Inn of Waycross, the best buffet pizza around. Clinch Memorial Family Practice. Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia. Big K and Lee Engineering. Got to give a shout out to Dolly for bringing us some of that white chocolate popcorn. Me and Daniel's fit to go hit it up again. Camping World of Alasta. You go over there and mention Creek Box, you'll get $500 off your purchase of a camper. Napa Auto in Homerville. Big Daddies on Highway 84. You can't make the game, just ease up the Big Daddies. They got five big screen TVs and you can walk it and eat you a good steak. Walker Jones of Waycross. You mentioned Creek Box, you get $500 off your purchase of a vehicle. Burt CPA and Adam Toll. Lux Brown Insurance. More farms right there in Maynard, Georgia. The best produce in the world is grown right there in Maynard, Georgia, and it's by Moore Farms. Huey's One Stop, Douglas Metal, Richard's Meat, Seafood, and Famous Barbecue Sauce, the Averett House, the Little Averett, and the Mary Averett. Man, we want to give all of them a shout out. They're the ones that make it possible for me and Daniel to scoot around all of the state of Georgia in football, basketball, baseball, and girls softball. Man, if y'all would love to become a sponsor, if you'll just, the number you're texting in, let us know, we can hook you up. The best advertisement in the world, right here on Creekbox TV. The Rebels are gonna get out of here with a big win in advance to the Region 2A championship game tomorrow night. So we got one side of the bracket in. Seven seconds left, they'll throw it in and we want to send a big shout out and a congratulations to Coach JB and Coach Kendra Vince and Athletic Director Carl McGowan and the Lady Rebels from Atkinson County. We're gonna take a break and leave the camera rolling and we'll be back in just a little bit.
Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Chat. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. We're getting ready for game two of the tournament. This will be a boys game now between the Clinch County Panthers and the Charlton County Indians from across the swamp. We appreciate everybody tuning in from Charlton County. We got a lot of people tuning in, about 15, 1,600 people Welcome watching right Charlton now. Charlton I'm going to step back while they announce the starters. Game between the Charlton County Indians and the Clinch County Panthers. Your starting lineup for Charlton County. Number zero, Demaria Martin. Number one, Jack Braddock. Number two, Bo Hamilton. Number three, Ahmad Hamilton. And number 11, JT Tolliver. And you're starting to line up for the Panthers. Number one, RJ Gloucester. Number four, Eric Bryant. Number five, Caius Mingo. Number 13, Jeremy Bell. And number 23, Jay Sean Rainey. All right, there's your starting lineup. Martin, Braddock, Bo. I think it's Tolliver and Hamilton, I think. It might be Wilson. We'll find out here in just a second. All right, for the Panthers, you got RJ. And you got number four, Bryant. Number 23, Raymond. Number 13, Bell. And number five, Mingo. Bell will be jumping against number three, Wilson, I think. Y'all know number three's name, let me know. I got it as Hamilton. That's got to be wrong, though. All right, Raymond with the ball. Panthers in white, Charlton in black uniforms. RJ with it. He'll dribble around, kick it back out to Raymond. Bell with the ball. Bell coming off. 
The Panthers' last win, he had 28 points. Number one with the steel drive if he traveled. That's Braddock. RJ will bring it in for the Panthers. Right back to him over to Bell. Back to Bryant. Panthers slowing it down. Bell with the ball now. Good defense by the Indians. We're scoreless here a minute into the game. RJ with the ball. Back to Bell. Bell will pull up. Three-pointer off the rim. Won't go. Braddock with the rebound. Here come the Indians. Long pass. Up and in. Number three with the basket. That's Hamilton. Two to nothing. Indians on top. Charlton will turn it over. Panthers have it. Bryant with the ball. Back to RJ, back to Bryant. Raymond has it now. Back to Bryant. Raymond looking, turn around, jumper, won't go. Mingo had it. Good job by Mingo. Oh, they said he stepped out of bounds. No, now she corrects it. He didn't step, she didn't see it. Mingo slapped it in to one of the Indians. Then it went out of bounds. Bell with the ball. Good move, Bell inside and one. That's gonna be on number 11, I think. Nope, they're gonna call it on number three. Bell at the line now. Second one on the way, got it. Good shot by Bell. Two to one now, Indians with the ball. Braddock with it, he'll get it back to Martin. Martin so quick, we're gonna have a foul on Mingo. He got up and come down on Martin for the foul. Indians will have the ball. They get it into Martin, over to Jamari. Jamari with the shot, won't go. Bryant with the rebound, here come the Panthers. RJ, back to Bryant. Back to RJ. They get it to Raymond down low. Raymond trying to square up and come, and there'll be a steal by the Indians, and here comes Charlton. Number two with it, drives all the way. Left hand, it won't go, we got a foul. That's going to be on Bell. Number 13, that'll be his first. Jamari drove it in. We're up about 2,100 people watching Creek Box now. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Number two will miss his first shot for the Indians. Second one on the way. Got it. Three to one now. Panthers have it. 538 to play. Indians are gonna press a little bit now on the Panthers. They get it to RJ. RJ driving in, reverse layup and got it. Good basket by RJ. We're all tied up, three apiece. Panthers are gonna press. They'll create a turnover. Brian will drive in. In and out. Bell with it. He'll go back up and got it. Panthers with their first lead now, five to three. Braddock alone, three and got it. Man, that was the NBA three. 
Six to five now, Indians back on top. They'll have a foul on Braddock. RJ with the ball. He'll dribble through a couple of them. Got it to Raymond down low. Raymond trying to get it to Mingo. Braddock. It come off Braddock. Panthers will keep it. RJ with the ball now for the Panthers. Over to Bryant. Bryant to Bell. Bell squaring up, trying to go around, and he'll miss it. Jamari with the rebound. Here come the Indians. Long pass. Raymond will steal it, and he'll give it back to Bell. Here we go. Bryant dribbling around. Got it over to RJ. A long three off the rim. Won't go. Mingo a tip at the Bell. Panthers will keep it. Panthers in white uniform. Charlton in black. Six to five. Indians on top. RJ Back to Raymond, drives in, won't go. Bell back up and puts it in for the Panthers. Seven to six, Panthers back out front. Martin trying to dribble through. Good job by Mingo. Indians will slow it down now. Kick it out to Jamari. Back over to number 11. That was Tolliver. Back to Martin. Up and in, Martin with the basket. Good shot by the Indians. They're back out front, eight to seven. Brian will dribble through two of them, give it back to RJ, long three, boom, got it. RJ with a three. 10 to eight now, Panthers with their biggest lead. Indians will slow it down. Three minutes to play here in the first quarter. There's a long three by the Indians off the back of the rim. Mingo tipped it over. Bryant couldn't hold on to it. Panthers will lose it out of bounds. Braddock will bring it in for the Indians. He'll throw it out. Got it to Martin, a long three. Three and got it. Good shot by Martin. Indian back out front 11 to 10. Bell with the ball. Back to RJ. Over to Bryant. Bryant will drive in, kicks it back to RJ. Another three off the rim, won't go. Oh, Raymond got up high. Indians got up under him. That'll be a, nope, won't be a foul. Indians will have it. Boy, Raymond lucky not to be hurt on that one. There's a turnover, a foul caught on the Indians. Here come the Panthers, RJ with the ball back RJ with it now, Bryant had it. Got it to Bell, Bell up hard, won't go, no foul. Here come the Indians. Braddock with the ball, back to Martin. Martin will slow it down now. Two minutes to play here in the first. Charlton 11, clinch 10. This is the number two and the number three seed. Play in the right, to advance to the championship game tomorrow night. The winner will automatically get the host. Good block in there by Bell and Raymond. The winner will automatically get to host at least one playoff game. That's what this game means here. Mingo with the steal. They give it to Raymond. Back to Bryant. Here come the Panthers. Oh, Bryant drives in. We're going to have a foul. Let's see what's on. Number one, that's Braddock. That's going to be his second. 
Number four will come in. That's Wilson will come in for Braddock. He'll sit down. Alice Taylor, let's go Panthers. Miss Peggy says, hello, Alan and chat from Columbus, Georgia. We appreciate you tuning in to Creek Box, darling. Long three off the rim won't go. Indians with the rebound. 120 to play in the first. Indians have it. Martin. And you'll hand it off to number two. Back over to Martin. Oh, good block by Bryant from behind. Panthers have it. Here they come. A one-point game here. 50 seconds to play. 25 on the shot clock. Bell, 12 footer, got it. Good shot by Bell. He'll put the Panthers back out front. 12 to 11. We got a timeout. We'll be back in just a second. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth watering menu items. So, y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Chat. All right, here we go, folks, starting the second quarter. Indians with the lead. No, Panthers with the lead, 12 to 11. Sorry, we're still in the first, folks. We had a timeout. 20 seconds to play here in the first. Number four driving in. Mingo will pick him up. They get it back to Martin. Long three. In and out won't go. Another offensive rebound, Bell. Oh, that's going to be foul number two, I think, on Bell. Let's see. Ooh, boy, Panthers got lucky. They called it on Mingo. That'll be his first. First free throw. He'll miss. That's number 11 at the line. That is Tolliver. What it is, number two and three's brothers. You got, I call one Jamari, the other Hamilton. That's where the confusion come in. <laughs> Second shot on the way for Tolliver, and he got it. Good free throw there for him. We're all tied up. Ten seconds. Bryant bringing it down. He'll get it. RJ knocked out of bounds over there by number three. That was Hamilton knocked it out. Tell you what, that name Hamilton has produced a lot of great athletes for the Indians from Charlton County. RJ with the ball. Four. Three seconds, two seconds. RJ will pull up. It's going to be short, and that's going to do it. Well, we're right where we started, folks. We're all tied up, 12 to 12. We'll take a break and be back in 60 seconds. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers East. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got my buddy up top working the camera, Daniel Munoz. We're here. We're all tied up in the first boys game of the region tournament, of the final four of the region anyway. We're all tied up 12 to 12. 
There's a long three by the Indians. It won't go. Number 12 in the game for the Indians. That's Lane. Good looking athlete from Charlton. Bryant with the ball. He'll get it to Bell. Hamilton on Bell. Bell behind his back. Got him up. He'll pull up. 15 footer won't go. Bryant will come in. Got the rebound. He'll give it to RJ. Boom! Another three by RJ. Big shot. He's been hot. 15 to 12 now. Panthers lead. Indians have it. Martin's going to slow it down. He'll back away. He'll kick it over to number four. That's Wilson. Wilson almost lost it. They're going to call a foul on Bell. That will be number two on Bell. Boy, that's big foul. Bell will have to sit down. Johnson will come in the game for the Panthers. We got 2,400 people watching Creek Box right now. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Give us a shout out. Let us know where you're watching from. Number five, Gibbs in the game. There's number 12. That's Lane. He'll give it back up to Gibbs. Back to Lane. Lane, troll. Oh, he dropped it. Boy, Coach Terrence didn't like that. I didn't know you could drop it and pick it back up. Technically, I guess it. Oh, man, Raymond got up high. Couldn't get it. RJ was trying to get the ball to him, but a little high. R Raymond stretched out as far as he could. Gibbs with the ball. Long three by the Indians. Johnson with the rebound for the Panthers. Here they come. RJ back to Bryant. Bryant bringing it down. Over to RJ. RJ back to Bryant. Brian will dribble out. He'll get it back to RJ. RJ's going to drive in. They said he traveled. 15 to 12, six minutes in the half. We're in the first half now. Oh, a big three-pointer. Who was that? <laughs> it was a three-pointer by the Indian, probably Martin. No, he's not in the game, so I've missed that one, folks. Oh, RJ traveled. We're all tied up, 15 to 15. I think Gibbs hit that three-pointer. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munzo up top. Here come the Indians. Cribs will bring it down. Oh, he got it to Lane. Lane will save it. He'll back out to Braddock. Braddock with two fouls for the Indians. He's going to set up, drive around, looking for some help. Got it out to 11. Long three. He'll miss it. Oh, Miller had it and lost it. Charlton will keep it. They get it back into Lane. Lane back over to Crib. Gibbs. Gibbs trying to dribble in. We got a foul. Let's see who this one's on. Number four, Bryant. That'll be his first. Julia Lacey watching from Sacramento, California. Let's go, Panthers. Appreciate you tuning in. My buddy Fred Tiller, one of the great athletes here from Homerville. Let's go, CCHS. Love you, Coach. Love you too, buddy. All right, the Indians with another three. They pulling away, 18 to 15, and they got the ball. Braddock with it. 
Knocked away at the last second down there by Raymond. Number three coming in the game. That's Hamilton for the Indians. Lane will take a break. I didn't hear you, brother. Braddock with the ball now. Oh. Raymond trying good shot in there by Hamilton with the basket. Bell with the jump ball. He'll get it back over to Raymond, back to Bryant. Indian now on a seven to nothing run. They get it to Miller. Miller back looking good. Pass to RJ on the back side, and RJ will lay it in. Braddock with three three pointers tonight. Oh, that's got to be, and it is a charge. They're going to call that on number five, on number two. That's Jamari. That'll be his first. 2017 now. Indians on top. Bryant with the ball. Bell back to Bryant over to RJ. Back to Bryant. Indians playing some tight defense. They get it to Raymond. He'll pull up. Eight footer won't go. Another miss. Here come the Indians. Jamari with the ball. He'll pull up. 15 footer and got it. Money in the bank there. 22 to 17. Bryant with the ball. He'll give it to RJ. Back to Bryant. Bryant to RJ. Panthers can't seem to get nothing inside. They get it to Miller. Miller looking, dribbling. He'll get it back to Bryant. 12 on the shot clock now. Three minutes to go into half. Bell looking. He's going to take it himself. Five seconds on the shot clock. Got it. Fadeaway shot by Bell. 22-19. Indians lead. Hamill, Jamari driving. Couldn't get it to go. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant looking. Got it down low to Milo. And he's going to draw a foul. That'll be on number five. That'll be Gibbs. That'll be his first. Good move by Miller. Chase Ford says, let's go, Jeremy Bell. Daniel Tolliver, 12 is Cobb, and 5, Trent Hamilton. All right, 12 is Cobb. Let me get that right. And, yeah, 5 is Trent. He was 25 the last time we played. That's what it was. All right, 22 to 20. Who made the last one? Panthers with the rebound. They can tie it up now. Got it over to Raymond. Raymond driving to the basket. Can't get it to go. Indians trying to save it. Raymond has it. Oh, we got, oh, and he traveled. Another turnover by the Panthers. 22 to 20. We knew it was going to be a good game, folks. All of them's going to be good. We have over 2,500 people watching Creek Box tonight. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Here we go. Martin bringing it down. Over to Jamari. Back to Martin. Martin just so quick. Great ball handler. He'll pull up at the free throw line, throws it up. Won't hit nothing. Good job by number 11, Tolliver. He saved it and bounced it off a of Panther, and it went out of bounds. 157 to play in the first half. Tolliver back to Martin. Martin with a three. Boom! There it is. His second one tonight. 
four three-pointers tonight already for Charlton. RJ to Miller. Miller back to Bell. Bell looking, lost it. Braddock has it. Back to Martin. 25 to 20. Wide open, back door, got it. The Hamilton, number three with the basket. 27 to 20, biggest lead of the night. We're gonna have a foul, that'll be on Martin. That'll be his first. Bell has to be careful here right before half. He's got two fouls. Panthers have the ball. They need a basket. RJ dribbling around, 20 seconds on the shot clock. They get it to Raymond. Raymond trying to get it to Miller. Indians knock it out of bounds. 15 on the shot clock, 107 on the play clock. Good pass, Raymond back door, got it to go then. 27-22 now. Trent with the ball. They get it to Jamari, Jamari driving in, lays it up and in, good shot. 40 seconds, back to a seven point lead, 29-22. There's another steal by the Indians. Lays it up and in, Jamari. They just having their way with the Panthers right now, 31-22. Panthers can't seem to do nothing, there's a long three and got it. We needed that one, folks. RJ's third one of the game, and there'll be a foul on number five. That'll be Trent. That's going to be his second. RJ can make it a four-point play here. Need everyone you got, can have in this game. On the way and got it. Good shot by RJ. 15 seconds. If I'm Charlton. I wait to the last shot. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Jamari out. He'll give it back to Martin. Oh! No, boy. There's a back door. Puts it in. Coach Terrence George pulling his hair out. He's wanting a double dribble, but they're going to hit it. Makes it 33 to 26 at the half. Folks, we'll take a break, and we'll be back for the second half. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. 
Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statonville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Be merry this holiday season at the Merry Acres, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Merry Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Avery House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. And then a Lonky Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, Chevy find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richard's catering service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822.
Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 912- 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. All right, folks, we're ready now. Panthers, let's see, they've coached them up. Panthers with the ball. They trail 33-26, RJ. With the shot, he had 14 in the first half. He's got 16 now. There's a rebound by Bale. Bale, I have it stolen. Martin with it. Braddock back to Martin. Braddock with nine points in the first half for the Indians. Martin with eight. Jamari with seven. Hamilton with six, number three. Martin, good move, reverse layup, won't go. Raymond with the rebound, here come the Panthers. Bryant with the ball. 33-28. Panthers have trailed by as many as nine. Oh, trying to get it down low to Bell and a good steal. The Indians playing great on defense. They're not allowing nothing in the lane or in the box. Bailey Lawrence, Bailey and Brisser are watching from the bus on the way home. We appreciate y'all watching, darling. Let's go Panthers from Jonathan and Angela Talbert from Cutting Loop. And Thomas, flight bail number 13 from Aniat Dina. Let's get a dunk. I'm with you, darling. I hope we do. Wake us up. Wake 
2,400 people watching tonight on Creek Box so far. Bell with the ball. He'll kick back behind three. 18-footer right around the rim. Good job by Raymond. He'll put it up and in. And one. Who's the foul on? Let's see on number 11. Tolliver, that'll be his first. Raymond with five points or two points now. He had two in the first half. He's got four now, excuse me. Trying to make it a three-point play. Number 12 will come back in for the Indians. That's Cobb. Raymond will miss the extra point. He was trying to tack on to the two points he got. Good pass down to Cobb. Bell slapped it away and out of bounds. Bell got up high. You know, you don't want him. You got to say, man, you got two fouls, but he's only one way he knows how to play, and that's wide open. Look out, Braddock with another one and suck it. Man, he can't miss. 12 points for Braddock now. Bell with the ball. 36-30. There, Braddock will not No. RJ saved it. Back across to Bryant. Bryant will pull up at the free throw line. It won't go. Raymond with a rebound up and in. Raymond with four points here in the third. Four-point game now. 36-32. Braddock is on fire. You got to cover him all the way to the bathroom. He traveled, that'll be a turnover. Coach Terrence up, coaching him up. We're just underway here, two minutes into the third. Oh, almost good, Martin, so quick. Good job, RJ driving in and got the basket. 18 points tonight. For RJ, 36-34. Got a, no, it's just a collision. They get it over to number two, that's Jamari. Back out to Martin. He can shoot your eyes out too. Martin driving in, won't go. They save it, Braddock has it. He'll give it back to Martin, almost a steal. And there, they'll throw it up. Shot clock, Lane had it, Raymond. Yep, it'll be a shot clock violation. It buzzed before he got the shot off. Panthers with a chance to tie it here. No, we got a 60 second time, we'll stay right here. I got some announcement, I wanna remind everybody at the hospital, you got the Georgia heart program going on. Did you know that instead of paying your Georgia taxes back to the state, well, you don't know how they're gonna be spent. You can designate your state taxes back to Clinch Memorial Hospital. This gives you control over where your tax dollars are spent. And who wouldn't want them to come back locally to our community? The process is simple, folks. Once you estimate how much you owe in state income taxes, you can complete the form online. It takes less than two minutes to complete. And when you're ready, you can make your payments to Clinch Memorial Hospital within six months. There goes the Panthers back to Raymond, up and in. Raymond on fire for the Panthers now. And one. That means you have supported the purchase of new equipment, increased service lines, and improved the quality of health care for Clinch County. For more information, call Lily Blitch at 912-470-2401. Raymond, once again, at the free throw line. Got it this time. Seven points here in the third for Raymond, and the Panthers have taken the lead back after trailing by nine. 37-36. Trent with the ball for Charlton. He'll give it up to Jamari. Braddock with it, you got to get on him. Johnson's on him, can't give him no daylight. Braddock will get one off, won't go. Raymond with a rebound. You give it to Bell, back to Bryant, and here come the Panthers. 
Johnson, good pass, got it again. Raymond, my man. 39-36 now. Antonio Jefferson, Allen, please give my mom Virginia and Stanley Jefferson. They are watching from the big city of DuPont, Georgia. That's God's country, brother. That's where I'm from. DuPont, Georgia, right down the Swanoochee Creek. Hey, my mama's right there in DuPont watching it too. We got a foul, let's see. On number four, that's Bryant. That'll be his second. Wendell Cobb, the refs don't know the rules. Another good, great football player for the Panthers back in the day, Wendell Cobb. You got Trent at the free throw line, he'll miss it. Bell with the ball, back to RJ, he'll get off a deep one, boom, there it is. Number four for RJ tonight. 42-38 Panthers. I don't know what Coach Terrence George did, but we have outscored them now. They were down by nine at one time. Braddock with the ball. You got to stay on him. He'll give it to Jamari, and Johnson grabbed it. Jump ball. Good heads-up play by Johnson for the Panthers. Trent will bring it in now for the end. The end, right, Bell got a piece of it. Look out! Here comes Rocket Man. Oh, he slipped. He got it, twisted his ankle. Man, boy, he was fitting to tear the gold down. He got the basket anyway. 11 for Bryant tonight. Boy, everybody had stood up already in the gym. Forty-four, thirty-eight. Panthers on top. Robert Ganey. There's another three. Good shot by number three. That's Hamilton with the basket. Let's roll, Panthers. Oh, the Panthers will turn it over. Here come the Indians. Look out! Oh, off the rim won't go. Bell with the rebound. Miss Johnson says, let's go Panthers. Bryant with the ball over to Bell. Wide open, RJ underneath. Oh, and that'll be blocked good. Hustle up play by Jamari for the Indians. Here come the Indians. Wide open on this end. He'll lay it up and in. That was Hamilton with the basket. One point game now, 44-43. RJ driving in, oh, in and out. We'll have a foul. See who this one's on. Number three, that's Hamilton. That'll be his second. RJ at the free throw line. RJ with 21 points tonight. Oh man, he missed his first one. He has four three-pointers. Martin coming back in the game now for the Indians. RJ second shot on the way. Oh, in and out, couldn't get it to go. One minute, five seconds to play in the third. Panthers up by one. Martin. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time. They're trying to get Braddock open. They got him. He's drawing him out. They're going to try to get him picked. Yeah, good job by Johnson. Johnson has it. Lays it up. Oh, up and in. Bell was there ready to clean it up if it rolled off the rim. 46-43 Panthers. Casey Bryant says roll red roll. Watching from Warner Robins, Georgia. We appreciate it, darling. Miss Thomas says, let's go, RJ. Number 10, back to Martin. 19 seconds. Martin will throw up a long one, in and out, won't stay, out of bounds. Clanton says, the one lady is <laughs> This will be their second game. I think we'll have a new set the next one. 
them for the next two. Good pass by Bell Bryant. Oh, man, they said he traveled. 46, 43, 9.8 seconds left in the third. What a game. Here come the Indians now. They made it all the way to Final Four last year. Won't go. RJ had it. Here comes. He's going to let it off. Won't go. Boy, I wish they had about three more seconds left. He'd have tore the goal down then for sure. 46-43. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta. All right, everybody, here we go. Eight minutes away. The winner will advance to the championship game tomorrow to play the winner between Lanier and Turner County. We got a wet spot down there by the Panthers bench. Clinch up by three, 46-43. They trailed by nine in the first half. At one point. Panthers with the ball now. They kick it over to RJ. RJ with a shot. Won't go. He come down. Here comes Martin on the other end for the Indians. Bell slapped it away. They give it to Braddock. That's going to be off. Bell with the rebound. Long pass to Johnson. Oh, no. It went through his hands. Man. Miss Ann says, Alan, they got us on the edge of the seat. You're right, darling. We won and won against them. We can beat them across the swamp, but we just struggle at the house. I don't, these are magic goals when the Indians come to Clinch County because they shoot the lights out when they come over here. Indians with the ball. Martin has it. He's going to drive in, throws it up. We got a foul on number four. That's going to be Bryant. That'll be his third now, boy. Indians keep it. Back to Martin. They get it to number three. Bell slapped at it. Won't go. Knocked out of bounds. Indians have it. Here we go, Indians will bring it in. Seven minutes to play in the game. They get it to three, backside, Bell slapped at it. Oh, and it didn't go, Panthers have it. Bell from one end to the other. Oh, won't go, Miller got it. 48-43 now. Go, Miller slapped it out. Almost knocked the whistle out of the referee's mouth. Boy, he got into that. Here we go. Martin with the ball for the Indians. They need a basket now. Back and two. Back and two. RJ, garden number two, Jamari. Won't let him go nowhere. Martin pulls up. Won't go. Out of bounds. Panthers have it. Over 3,200 people watching right now on Creekbox. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We still have two games to go. And they're going to be just like this one, folks. The girls play next, Clinch County and Charlton County. 
Bryant driving in, got pushed. Oh, almost got one. Let's see who that one's on. Number 11, that's Tolliver. That'll be his second. That'll put Bryant at the free throw line. Bryant with no points so far in the game. He's played some great defense. Got him now. That's been, that's what they've tried to take Brian away and they have covered him up pretty good. The Indians have tonight. Second free throw on the way for Brian. Got them both. Big shots for Brian. Biggest lead of the night for the Panthers. 50 to 43. Richard said four turnovers that we should have. You right about that, brother. I would think. I don't know. I'm going to find out. There's another. You can't give him no daylight. Braddock will blind you. Four three-pointers. Back to a four-point game. Bryant with the ball. I'm telling you he can shoot a three. Almost a steal. RJ, let's see if he's got another one. He does. Back to a seven-point seven game now. 53-46. Trent with the ball. He'll give it back up. We're going to have a foul on RJ. That'll be his first. RJ working it hard tonight. He is trying to cover up Jamari. Here come the Indians, Jamari with the ball. He'll give it back up to Trent. Trent lost it. Bryant with the steal. Here come the Panthers. Bryant all the way, won't go. We got a foul. Let's see who this one's on. Number three, that's on Hamilton. That'll be his third. Fifty-three, forty-six. We need him, Brian. He's two for two tonight at the line. Three for three now. Big free throws. Every point counts. Fifty-four, forty-six. Five ten to play in the game. Second free throw on the way. Got them both. Four for four now. Biggest lead of the night for the Panthers. Nine points. But I, that's three possessions for the Indians, I'm telling you. There's Jamari with a three. He'll miss it. Bell has it. Here he comes. Good pass to R.J. down low to Raymond. Up and in. Raymond now with the man. He's got 14 points tonight. 57-46. Here come the Indians. They have the rebound, and here comes. They get it over, got it to Raymond. Good pass down low, won't have it. Let's see what we got here. Got a foul. I don't know who the number was. RJ at the line, man. Oh, we need him. You got four threes. Number 11 back in the game for the Indians. That's Tolliver. You're right about that, Allen. He ain't. Oh, man. RJ struggling at the free throw line. Deadly from the three-point line. 11-point lead. 57-46. Indians need a basket now. Jamari with the ball back over. Oh, good steal by R.J. on this end. He'll give it to Bryant, and here come the Panthers. Bryant dribbling around. Oh, he lost it. Good hustle by R.J. Raymond has it back to R.J. Oh, man, Coach Terrence was wanting a timeout, but they called travel before he could get it. Braddock will bring it in for the Indians. Braddock with 15 points tonight for Charlton County. 
Martin with the ball. Martin has eight, but he has none this half. Look out. Oh, that's, I think that's the first one he's missed. He's in a slump. He missed one. Panthers with the ball. Oh, what in the world? RJ looking. He thought he was trying to get it down low. It went right past him. Yes, ma'am, I'm having fun. You know I love basketball, Miss Johnson. <laughs> we got four games today and four tomorrow. There's another one. He'll miss it. Here comes Bell now. Bell bounce pass over to RJ. We're going to have a foul. Let's see who this one's on. Number one, that is Braddock. That's three. Only way to keep him from hitting a three-pointer is put him on the bench. He's got three fouls now. Carl McGowan says, thanks, Allen, for the girls' coverage of Atco versus Turner. Maybe we'll have another Atco versus Clinch tomorrow night. I hope so, brother. Congratulations on y'all. Here we go. RJ got his first one. He'll miss his second one. Indians need a basket. They need it now. Three minutes to play. There's a long three off the back of the rim. They went cold. Oh, Braddock almost with a steal. Good save by Johnson. Nope. We got a foul. Let's see. On zero, that's Martin. That'll be his second. That'll put Bale at the free throw line. Mm. Good shot. He'll make his first one. Second free throw on the way for Bell. Off the back of the rim. Bell got his own rebound. Boy, he slipped down again. We got to get him some new shoes. Oh, man. Braddock has been all over stealing the ball tonight. So close. 59-46. Biggest lead of the night. Bryant slowing down. He'll give it to Johnson. Johnson back to Raymond up and in. That's my man Raymond playing hard in the back. 61-46 now. You still can't count them out, folks. They can shoot from the outside. Martin with the ball. He'll drive in. Bale slaps at it. Good job by Martin. It'll go. His first basket of the second half. He had eight in the first. Bryant needs some help. Got it to RJ. RJ over to Johnson. Johnson back. Trying to get it to Bell. Jamari with the steal. Here come the Indians. Look out. Braddock. That one got tipped a little bit. RJ got a piece of that one. Bell with the ball. Lays it up and in. Good shot by Bell. 63-48. That might sew it up, folks. one 34 to play in the game. The clock's running. Off the backboard, it won't go. Indians got to shoot threes now. Panthers will advance to the championship game. We need a clock added to the Greek box screen. We'll work on that, try to help y'all out a little bit. I'll try to keep up with it. 110 to play. Bell's all over it. He was going to slap it out. One minute, nine seconds to play. Well, thank y'all. We appreciate all y'all watching. We got over 4,200 people watching right now. Martin with the long three in and out won't go. Knocked out of bounds. Panthers have it. Well, we're going to wait and see who the Panthers will play tomorrow night because that'll be game four between Lanier County and Turner County. We're going to take a break after this game, probably 15 minutes, and be right back. I want to remind everyone, mark your calendars for Saturday, May the 4th, for a yard sale at Clinch Memorial Hospital. This will be the biggest yard sale in Clinch County this year with clothes, furniture, and household items and more. Not to mention barbecue plates, bake sales, and more fun for the kids. 
If you are interested in donating your spring cleaning items or any items to the yard sale to make it easy, Clinch Memorial will come pick them up. All the items for you. You don't even have to be home. To schedule a pickup, call 912-470-2401. Don't forget to save this date, folks. May the 4th. Biggest yard sale in Clinch County. All right, here we go. Bryant with the ball. Back to RJ. Under a minute to play now. Back to Bryant. They got to get across half court. RJ will dribble across. Look out! Ooh! There it is! I've been waiting on it, and he got it. 65-48 now. Braddock with another one. Won't go. Raymond with the rebound. Finally found some daylight. He'd have had one earlier if he hadn't have slipped. A rocket man did it again. Got a foul, I think. Was that on Bryant? Knocked out of bounds. Indians have it. 26 seconds to play. The next game, folks, don't go anywhere. It'll be the girls. Clinch County versus Charlton County. Charlton comes in as the number four seed, but they're not playing like a number four. Oh, boy, they were going to get it then. Right hit the rim. That's going to do it. Panthers will get a big win tonight after trailing by nine, 65 to 48. What a comeback. I don't know what Coach Terrence George said at the half, but it worked. All right, you got 15 minutes to run somewhere and come right back. The next game, girls game, will be between Clinch County and Charlton County. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. 
With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. 
drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statonville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Be merry this holiday season at the Mary Agret, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia, the largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Agret has everything you need to make every day a holiday. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Avery House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South.
Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 912- Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 912- 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. 
Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. Number one, Beyond the Battle. Number 11, Taylor Knox. Number 22, Sincere Humphrey. Number 23, Trinity Hamilton. And number 25, Mahogany Steele. And your starting lineup for the Pantherettes. Number one, Destiny Talbot. Number three, Demaria Mackey. Number four, Amaria Dean. Number 10, Jalaysia Riley. And number 23, Tiana Dorsey. All right, there's your starting lineup, folks, for game three. We've been here since two o'clock this afternoon, me and Daniel. Game three is Clinch versus Charlton and the girls. Starting for Charlton, number one, Battle. Number 11, Knox. 22 Humphreys, 23 Hamilton, and number 35 Steele. <coughs> Excuse me. For the Panthers, one Talbert, three Magby, four Dean, 10 Cupcake, and number 23 Dorsey. Dorsey will be jumping against Steele. Panthers in their white uniforms, Charlton in their black. All right, here we go. We're ready, and the ball's tipped away out of bounds. Panthers have it. Magby will bring it in for the Panthers. Panthers are seated number one. The Lady Indians, number four. But they're probably playing the best basketball of any girls team other than Pearson right now. Indians are. Magby will drive in, will miss it. Dean with the rebound, out of bounds. Magby will bring it in for the Lady Panthers. Got it to Talbert. Talbert driving in, won't go. Rebound in there, number 11. That's Knox. Here come the Indians. Battle bringing it down. She'll dribble around two, throws it up and in. Two to nothing, Indians on top. Here come the Panthers. Talbert bringing it down. Over to Magby. Boy, they got Dean covered up down low. Back across to Talbert. Over to Cupcake. Looking back to Dorsey. Good defense by the Indians. They're not allowing nothing inside. Magby with the ball. She'll pull up, 12 footer, overshot it. Dean with the rebound. Turn around, won't go. Steel has it for the Indians. Panthers trying to tie her up. Good job. Here come the Indians. Battle with the ball. 
She'll pull up, 10-footer, won't go. Steal with the rebound up and in. Four to nothing, Indians on top. Richard said Johnson, the heck of a basketball player. You right about that, we got to catch up. We set about threes. About 3,000 people watching. <laughs> We're getting ready. This is game three. Coach Chase called a quick timeout. Panthers trail four to nothing. Just underway. Need the owner of a black Nissan Pathfinder with a clinch tag to move your car, please. Owner of a black Nissan Pathfinder with a clinch tag to move your car. All right, here come the Panthers now. Talbert will bring it down. Magby, good save by Magby. Out to Talbert. Talbert with the three. Off the rim, won't go. Dorsey with the rebound. Back across to Magby. Magby will throw up a 12-footer, won't go. Steal with the rebound for the Indians. Here comes Charlton. Got it back to battle. Battled, man, trying to get it to steal down low. Just went off her fingertips. Talbert needs some help. Asia will come down now. She'll bring it in and right back to Talbert. Back to Asia. Over to Cupcake to Talbert. To Dean at the free throw line. Won't go. Cupcake with the rebound. She'll throw it out to Dorsey. Dorsey will throw up a three. Got it blocked. No, got a foul. That's going to be on 23, I think. Yep, that'll be on number 23. That's Hamilton. That'll be her first. That'll put Dorsey at the free throw line to shoot three. First free throw on the way. Got it. Good shot by Dorsey. Second free throw. Got that one. See if she can make it three for three here. You're going to need every point tonight. She got all three of them. Good job by Dorsey. Four to three now. Here come the Indians. Battle bringing it down. She's the quarterback. The winner will play Atkinson County tomorrow night for the region championship. Battle dribbles in. 12-footer won't go. Steal with the rebound. She'll put it up. Won't go. 11 got it. She'll draw a foul. I think it's going to be, let's see, on Cupcake, number 10. That'll be her first. Four to three, Indians on top. Number 11, Knox at the free throw line for the Indians. First one won't go. Second free throw on the way. Won't go. Dean with the rebound for the Panthers. We got a lane violation. On the Panthers, she'll get a second chance. Oh, she couldn't get it to go. Dean with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. She's going to push it. She'll slow it down now. Got it to Dorsey in the paint. Dorsey trying to hold on to it. Got it back to Dean. Overshot the basket. Asia trying for it. Magby has it. Back to Dorsey. Dorsey needs some help. Looking. Got it to Talbert. Talbert will throw up a three. Won't go. Let's see who's got it. Clinch will keep it. Went off the Indian's leg. Magby will bring it in. Got it to Asia. Asia with the shot and got it. Good shot by Asia. Panthers have their first lead, five to four. Knox with the ball down low. We're going to have a foul. That's going to be on Dorsey, I'm afraid. Let's see. Yep, number 23, that's Dorsey. That'll be your first. Steele will miss her first shot. Second one on the way. Of 
Oh, she'll miss that one. Dorsey with the rebound. Out to Talbert. Here come the Panthers. Talbert over to Asia. Lost it. Oh, battle has it for the Indians. And here she comes. She'll dribble through one. All the way. Dorsey will block it. No foul. Dean with the ball and lost it on Dorsey. Her and Dorsey got tied up and lost the ball out of bounds. Battle going to bring it in. Got to get it in. She got it to steal. Let's see. Magby had it. Lost it. 23 throws it up. No foul. I'd say the referee's letting them play. Here comes Talbert. I like it. Dean overshot it. Both teams struggling to make a shot. Five to four. Panthers on top. Here come the Indians now. Man, we are packed here. We got one more game left after this one. That out of your way just a little bit, buddy. Purple Audi A7, we need you to move your vehicle. Purple Audi A7, please move. All right, Panthers have it. Magby will get it into Dean. Back to Talbert. Asia with the ball now. Got it to Magby. Magby to Dean. Dean crossover in the paint. Got it blocked by Steele. She'll draw a foul. Steele does a great job down low for the Indians in the paint. That'll be her first foul. She finds a way to get open down low. First shot by Dean. It won't go. Another brick. Dorsey will come out, take a break. Stevens in the game now for the Panthers. Indians will bring in Lambert, it looks like. Yep, Lambert. Dean's second shot on the way. In and out, won't stay. Rebound in there, number 11, Knox. Here come the Indians. Over to Battle. Battle throw up a three off the back of the rim. Dean up high with the rebound. She'll bring it out, and she's going to push it. From one end, good pass. Magby saved it. Got one hand on it, knocked it down. They get it to Asia in the paint. Asia traveled. Can't get it up. Panthers will turn it over. Well, we got a timeout. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. All right, y'all caught me taking a sip of Coca-Cola. Bad on. Now Knox threw it up down low. Knox and Dean fighting for it. Who has the possession? The Panthers do. Five to four. 325 to play in the first. A low scoring game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Asia thought about it. She'll drive, throws it up hard, won't go. Rebound, 22. We're going to have a jump ball. Humphreys had the rebound. Panthers reached in and grab it. Charlton has the possession. Here comes Battle. Battle pulls up, throws it up, won't go. Magby with the rebound. Back to Dean. Here come the Panthers. Dean to Talbert. Asia with the ball. Back to Stevens. Stevens lost it. Let's see. They're laying on it. Battle to scoop it up. 
throws it up and won't go. Stevens trying for it, knocked out of bounds. Knox was over there. Indians will have it. Dorsey and Morris in the game now for the Panthers. Cupcake back in the game also. Looking, they're going to drive around. They give it back to Battle. Battle looking. Got in the paint, kicks it back out to 23. That's Hamilton. She'll pull up, won't go. Dean has the ball. Two on one, Dean drives in and it won't go. Man, they got both goals blocked up with bricks. Nothing will go in Asia with a block. It'll go out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. Our Indians will keep it. Let's see. Stevens coming back in the game for Dean. Dean will take a break. Yeah, Indians have it. Battle will bring it in. They get it in to 23. Hamilton, she can't get it. Dorsey with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Cupcake bringing it down. Asia back to Stevens. Back to Asia. Cupcake, now she'll back away. Under two minutes to play in the first. Nobody has scored in the last three and a half minutes. They get it to Dorsey, made a move, no, she traveled. Oh, another Panther turnover. Here come the Indians now, battle with the ball. She'll kick back over to number 22, that's Humphreys. She'll drive in, Dorsey took it away from her. Has the ball, got it to Cupcake, here comes the Panthers. Morris with the ball now. Back to Cupcake. Cupcake over to Steven. There's a steal by Knox. Here come the Indians. Lays it up and in. Finally, somebody scores. Somebody. That was number 25, Lambert with the basket. Six to five. Indians on top. 101 to play in the first. Under a minute now. Battle with the ball. Look out a long three off the back of the rim won't go. A offensive rebound. One had it. She'll save it. <clears throat> that was battle that saved it. Good shot by battle. Made it, eight to five now. Indians on top, 25 seconds, no shot clock. Talbert with the ball. Back to Stevens, got it to Dorsey. There's a steal, number 23, Hamilton. Talbert tried to steal it back, lost it again. Throws it up, no good. They get it to Talbert, six seconds. Won't go. Panthers knock it out of bounds. 1.1 second. Eight to five. 1.1 second. Indians will bring it in. Battle's going to let it roll. She can get it to half court. She can throw up one. She does, it's too late, won't go, but that's it after one quarter. Charlton County eight, Clinch County five, we'll be back in 60. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. 
Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz up there running the camera. Eight to five. Indians on top of the Panthers. Nine nine the game for the Panthers now. Trying to get it to Dean. The Panthers will lose it. They get it back. Talbert to Dean. Dean walked. Eight to five. Panthers gonna pick them up now, turn up the heat or the press. Good pass to 23, won't go. Dean knocks it out of bounds. Hamilton was all alone, couldn't get it. Jeffrey Abney says, let's go Panthers. He's watching from Brookwood. Dorothy Davis says, let's go Panthers. Knox with the shot, won't go. Morris has it. Talbert will bring it down. Talbert back to Magby. Nana with the ball. Nana almost lost it. She saved it back to Talbert. Talbert got it to Magby. Reverse layup in and out. You can't buy a basket. Got a foul on Magby. That'll be her first. Panthers haven't made a basket in three, four. Almost five minutes. There's a no foul. Magby with the ball, got it to Nana. She'll throw it up hard off the rim, won't go, and here we go. Hamilton all alone, up and in. 10 to five, biggest lead of the night for the Indians. Talbert with the ball. Got it to Dean down low, off the backboard, up and in. First basket of the night for Dean. 10 to seven. Battle lays it out to Knox. Knox throws it up, and no good. Up and in, 23 Hamilton with another basket. 12 to seven. Morris with the ball. Looking, got it out to Nana. Nana dribbling around, got it stolen. Nana push, that'll be a foul. Nana, that'll be her first. Oh, and that's gonna be a tech. On Nana, she pushed her hard in the back. So she'll get to shoot two and possession. First shot on the way, she'll miss it. That's Lambert at the free throw line for the Indians. Got the second one, good shot by Lambert. Now the Indians will have the ball, 13 to seven. They lead. Here we go, Indians will bring it in, they got it. Good shot, down low for the Indians. That was Lambert with the basket. 15 to seven now. Talbert with the long three, won't go. Cupcake with the rebound, won't with the rim. Indians have it. There's a steal by Dean, she'll drive in and got it. 
finally. 15 to nine. Knox with the ball, they got it back. Here come the Indians. Back to Knox. Knox looking wide open. Dean got a piece of it. Here come the Panthers. Talbert all the way, lays it up. Won't go, a collision between Stevens and Knox. Long pass out to Lambert. Dean slaps it away. Good hustle by Dean, got back and knocked it out of bounds. Boy, they letting them play. It's Angie says, let's go Panthers from Jonathan and Angela Talbert from Cutting Luke. There's a basket again. 17 to nine. Brianna and Darius, let's go. Let's do it, Shug. Here comes Battle back to the end. Throws it up. That's gonna be on Talbert, that'll be your first. Battle at the free throw line. First shot on the way, off the back of the rim, won't go. Magby coming into the game, Dean will take a break. Battle, second shot on the way, off the back of the rim. Stevens with the rebound, here come the Panthers. Cupcake with the ball. Over to Talbert. Back to Cupcake. Over to Talbert. Panthers can't make nothing outside. They'll drive in and get a basket. 17 to 11. Here come the Indians now. Battle bringing it down. Got it inside, 23 off the backboard, up and in, Hamilton with the basket. 19 to 11. Talbert bringing it down. Magby with the ball. She'll throw it up, in and out, won't go. Knox with the rebound, here come the Indians. Battle has it. She'll get it over, 23 up and one and one. Hamilton with another one. Foul will be on number 11, that's Asia. That'll be her first. Lindsey Wilson, let's go Maidens. Thanks for car carrying Creek Box. We appreciate it. We appreciate Mr. Adam letting all y'all know. Hamilton with three, six, eight points here in the second quarter. Make it nine now. 22 to 11. Indians on top. Talbert with the ball, trying to get it to Cupcake, she does. Back to Asia, off the backboard, won't go. Magby with the ball, will have a foul. They're gonna call that on Lambert, that'll be her first. Biggest lead of the night. Indians by 11. 3.32 to play in the first half. Well, Panthers can't make nothing. Dean's the only one made anything. Dean and Talbert, this half. We had five in the first quarter. We got six points in the second for a total of 11. Can't get the second one. Knox had it. Magby with her own rebound. Back to Talbert. They're letting the Panthers, they daring the Panthers to shoot from the outside. Talbert almost walked. Dorsey off the backboard up and in. 22-13. Battle, 12 footer, won't go. Dean with the rebound, here come the Panthers.
Talbert with the ball. They giving everything to the outside. They get it to Dorsey down low. One dribble, she traveled. 22-13. Here come the Indians. Yeah, yeah, you good. You can even put it in the floor if it's in your way. Two forty-six to play in the first half. Here come the Panthers. Twenty-two thirteen. Indians on top. Gamble says, "Let's go, Dean." Number 11, that's going to be Knox. That'll be her first. Dorsey at the free throw line. Oh, in and out. Second one on the way, won't go. Rebound, Magby fighting for it, 22 took it. That's Sam Humphreys. Oh, Indians, they still have it. Got to get it to half court, we got a foul. Oh, they're gonna call it on Dean, number four, that'll be her first. Let's see, the Indians might be in the bonus. Let's see here. They are. Humphreys will be at the free throw line for Charlton. First free throw on the way off the back of the rim. <laughs> She'll miss it. 227 to play in the first half. Off the rim won't go. Dean with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Over to Talbert. Clock running. 220, 219, 218. Magby with the ball. Back to Talbert. There's one knocked out of bounds by Battle. Talbert with the ball. Got it to Dean from the free throw line. In and out, won't go. Up and in by Dorsey. Good shot by the Panthers. 22-15, back to a seven point game. Battle drives in and got it. Good move by Battle. 24-15 now. Panthers back down, Magby with the ball, long shot, won't go, Asia trying for it. Rebound by the Indians. That's Hamilton with the ball. We're gonna have a foul. Number 14, back to back fouls in less than a minute. 134 to play, Coach Chase is gonna have to set Dean down. You don't want to pick up the third foul. Right before halftime. First shot, won't go, man. Hamilton at the free throw line. Morris in the game now. Dean stays in. Got him. Good shot by Hamilton. 25-15. Biggest lead of the night for the Indians. 10 points. Talbert, oh! 23 knocked it out. That was Hamilton. Morris will bring it in for the Panthers. Dean with the ball. Back to Mars, 115. 15 on the shot clock. Talbert in the paint, almost lost it, got it to Dorsey. Back to Talbert, back to Dorsey. 
Dorsey, long outside shot off the rim, won't go. Dean fighting for it, jump ball. Indians with the possession. 103 to play in the first half. Up by 10, 25 to 15. I want to get it, trying to get it to 23. Hamilton, she lost it out of bounds. Here come the Panthers, 48 seconds. Clock is running. Oh, battle to steal it again. It went out of bounds. Panthers keep it. Oh, man, it went through Asia's fingers. Out of bounds. That's been the story tonight for the Panthers. Patricia Grady, let's go, Lady Panthers. Darius and Patricia Grady watching from North Carolina. Let's go, Indians, from Javon. 22 seconds. They can take the let. Nah, there's two seconds between that and the shot clock. Hamilton driving in or won't go. Talbert with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. 10 seconds, got it to Dean. Left-handed, lays it up and in. Dean with six points in the second quarter. She's keeping the Panthers alive a little bit. They throw it up and it won't go. So after one half a play, Charlton County 25, Clinch County 17. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statonville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Be 
Mayor Eid this holiday season at the Mary Agret, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday-themed gifts. The Mary Averitt has everything you need to make every day a holiday. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Avery House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day.
part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Hi right, everybody, welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Daniel Munzo up here running the camera. 25-17, Indians on top. It has been all Charlton from the get-go. Panthers struggling to shoot the ball. They ain't even come out the locker room yet, I don't think. Have they, Daniel? The Panthers, have they come out yet? Here they come. Twenty-five seventeen. Let's see if they've been coached up. I'm sure Coach Chase and Coach Doreen and Coach JD had some wise words of wisdom at halftime. Over 3,000 people watching here on Creek Box. All right, here we go. Talbert with the ball over to Cupcake. Down to Dean. Well, almost lost it. Asia will throw one up, won't go. Got her own rebound, throws it up again, won't go. Got her rebound again. Strike three, won't go. Indians with the rebound. Asia with the steal. Nope, got it back. Hamilton did. She traveled. Yvonne said, let's go, Indians. We're just underway here in the third period. Talbert over to Asia. Asia dribbling in. I'll throw one up. It hit the backboard. Magby with it. Give it to Talbert with a three. Overshot it. Dean with the rebound off the backboard up and in. Dean with eight points now in the game. Cupcake will knock it out of bounds. 25-19 to score. Here come the Panthers. Talbert with the ball. Over to Cupcake. Oh, she saved it. Knox took it from her. Knocked out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. Hamilton with 10 points in the second quarter for the Indians. Asia with the ball. Back to Talbert. Magby draws in, got it off the backboard. Good pass, steal down low, couldn't get it to roll. Steel got it back, she lost it, battle with it. She'll put it up, won't go, Dean has it. Wide open, Magby overthrown, out of bounds. Indians will have it. 25-21, Panthers trying to get back in it. Battle. Back across, they get it to Knox. Off the backboard, won't go. Hamilton with the rebound. 22, drives in. That was Humphreys. Couldn't get the roll. It'll go out of bounds. Battle will bring it in for the Indians. Knox, outside shot, off the back of the rim, won't go. Long three wrapped around the rim, won't go. 
Here come the Panthers. Dean bringing it down. Asia with the ball. Over to Dorsey trying to go to the basket. That'll be a foul. Let's see who it's on. Number 35. That is Steele. That'll be your second. Come on, he says, let's go, Clinch County. Dean will hit her first one. Or Dorsey will, excuse me. She's got eight tonight. Second shot on the way. Got it. Got them both. Good job by Dorsey. Oh, did he take it away? A lane violation. That one won't count. Been that kind of night for the Panthers. Panthers steal it. They get it back to Dean. Dean drives to the basket. Won't go. Asia tips it away. Dean got it. Over to Asia. Asia saves the ball. Gives it to Talbert. Talbert drives in. Throws it up and got it to go. Somehow got it to go. One point game now. Panthers clawing back in it. 25-24. We'll be back in a second. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. Hi, right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Dean with a steal for the Panthers. Asia Dorsey got it. She'll throw it up. Won't go. Steal with the rebound for the Indians. Talbert will steal it back. Got it to Dorsey. Dorsey dribbling. Got it to Magby. Magby in the paint. Throws it up. Won't go. Got her own rebound. She'll throw it up again. Won't go. Indians throw it down. Talbert will knock it out of bounds. Indians will keep the possession. Here we go. Battle with the ball. She'll throw it up. Off the backboard won't go. Dean with the layup won't go. Magby got the rebound. Panthers trying to take their first lead. Since I think 30 seconds into the game and Dorsey got it. Panthers out front now, 26-25. Oh, Dorsey with the block. They'll call a foul on Dorsey. That'll be her second. That'll put Hamilton at the free throw line. First shot on the way, won't go. Second free throw on the way. Got it. Good shot there by number 23, Hamilton. They got it. Stevens with the ball. Back to Talbert. Talbert to Dorsey. Dorsey will throw up a three. Boom! Got it. Panthers needed that one, 29-26 now. Battle throwing it down, they got it across. That was the Humphreys. Humphreys needs some help, Dean has it. She'll straighten it up all the way, up and in. Here come the Panthers now, 31-26. Oh, she lost it, we're gonna have a foul. Let's see what's on. 
Oh man, that's on Dean. That'll be foul number three. Boy, boy, boy. They skill it back. Battle with the ball. Got it down low. Oh, no. Hey, you got to set her down now. That's four, Coach. Oh, Coach Chase won't hesitate now. He'll send Magby in. Dean with four fouls. Oh, we won't see her for another six minutes. First free throw on the way. Can't get it. Hamilton at the free throw line. Dean will sit down. Dean with 10 points tonight for the Panthers. Hamilton will miss the second one. Indians will keep it. Referee says the Indians have it. Crowd stands up and erupts. He good fella though. He good referee. They try to get it down low. They do. 23 won't go out of bounds. Panthers have it. Stevens will bring it in. Talbert will bring it down. 31-26. Cupcake got it to Dorsey. Dorsey trying to get it in. Won't go. Rebound Indians. Talbert trying to steal battle to save it. She'll dribble through. Talbert got it. Talbert goes in, can't get it. Magby will clean it up and put it in. Oh, we got a foul, I don't guess, on 22. Humphrey, that's her first. It was on Talbert, so the basket did not count. Second shot on the way. Dorsey with the rebound, up and in. 33-26, Dorsey with the steal. Got it to Cupcake, over to Stevens. Stevens dribbling around, out trying to get it, we got a foul. 25, that is Lambert, that'll be your second. Magby will bring it in for the Panthers. Talbert with the ball, 12-footer, won't go. Steven, no cupcake, fighting for it, can't get it. That'll be a foul on Dorsey, and that'll be her third. Boy. Dean on the bench with four. Dorsey on the court with three. The Indians need a basket. Trying to get one down low. Oh, hard fall, man. Going to jump back up. Good hustle there, 23 Hamilton. The battle done got tired. She has. She's been playing some basketball. Go 35 from the Indians. D Dorsey with another basket. She's turned it up, folks, here in the second half. She had seven at halftime. She got 10 here in the third. Good job by Dorsey to lay off and not get the foul. Panthers will have it. 35-26, biggest lead of the night for the Panthers. Morris getting ready to check in for the Panthers. Talbert with the ball. Over to Cupcake, she'll throw up a three off the back of the rim. Got her own rebound, back to Dorsey. Dorsey along, shot off the rim, won't go. Still with the rebound, here come the Indians. Out to 25, Steven slapped at it. Got it, Dorsey has it. One minute, 15 to play. In the third.
Stevens with the ball over to Magby. Magby back to, oh, she traveled. That'll be a turnover. Asia and Morris in the game. Dorsey will come take a break. She has turned it up in the third. They get it down to Steele with a foul. That's going to be on Asia, I think. Let's see. 13, that is Stevens. That'll be her first. Got it, good shot by Steele. She's got three points tonight. Second free throw on the way. Got it, good shooting by Steele. 35-28, here come the Panthers. Talbert with the ball. She'll get it across, 50 seconds. Asia with the ball, she'll throw one up. Off the backboard, won't go. Number 13, that is Stevens. That's another foul. That'll be her second. <laughs> That'll put Steele at the free throw line. She just made two. Let's see if she make two more. First one on the way. Now, that'll be short. She knew it was short time she shot it. Off the rim, won't go. Knox with the rebound, can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds, Panthers have it. 40 seconds to play in the third. Panthers lead by a touchdown, 35-28. Here comes Talbert. Down the court all the way, lays it up off the backboard, won't hit the rim. Here come the Indians. Battle with the ball. Up and in, battle with her first basket here in the second half. She had eight at the half. Back to a five-point game. Panthers slowing down. Dorsey and Dean on the bench for the Panthers. Both of them in foul trouble. Six seconds. That's who you want to have the balls, Morris. Look out. Boom! There it is. You've got to cover her up. 38 to 30. Morris hits it at the buzzer. Well, we're going to take a break. We'll be back here on Creek Box. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. All right, folks, Panthers hit a big three right there at the end of the third to make it 38 to 30. Marsh with a three. Dorsey back in the game with three fouls. Talbert, boy, she's done a good job stealing them all night. Magby over there hustling, got the ball, couldn't save it. Stepped out of bounds. Battle with the ball. Indians needing a basket. Hamilton puts it up, won't go. Asia fighting for it, won't go. She traveled, Panthers will have it. 
<laughs> Here come the Panthers. Talbert bringing the ball down. Over to Cupcake. Trying to get it down low to Magby. Won't. Cupcake trying to take it back. They're going to call a foul on number 10. That's Cupcake. That'll be her second. Seven twenty-three to play in the game. Thirty-eight thirty. Battle drives in, throws it up, and got no. Nope, she traveled. Great play. She took an extra step. Thirty-eight thirty. Here come the Panthers. Talbert bringing it down. Over to Asia. Asia down to Magby. She traveled. That'll be another turnover. Both teams swap and travel. Humphreys will bring it in. Battle will bring it down for the Indians. Oh, she lost it. Another steal for Talbert. Talbert all the way off the backboard up and in. Good play by Talbert. 40 to 30 now. It looks like a different team here in the second half. Steal with the ball, won't go. Throws it up again, won't go. 23, Hamilton with the shot. Let's see who it's on. Number 11, that is Asia. That'll be her second. Hamilton at the free throw line now for the Panthers. Up and in, good shot by Hamilton. She's got 12 tonight for Charlton. Robert Ganey says, let's do it, Panthers. Natasha Tremble, let's go, Panthers. Jeff Brady, three. That was a three right at the bro buzzer, brother. You right. There's a basket. Good shot by Steele. Seven-point lead now for the Panthers, 40-33. 6.25, clock is running. Talbert with the ball. She'll drive in. Can't get it. That'll be a foul on Steele. That'll be her third. That'll put Talbert at the free throw line for the Panthers. First shot on the way. Talbert will miss it. Second free throw on the way. Got that one. Good job by Talbert. Talbert with seven points tonight, about 10 steals. We'll take a break and we'll be back in 30 seconds. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. All right, everybody, here we go. Indians with the ball. Battle to bring it down. Got it over to Humphreys. All right, yep, that was Humphreys. Battle trying to get it to steal down low. Asia with the steal. Here comes Talbert. She'll take it all the way. Lays it up, won't go. Dorsey trying to clean it up. Cupcake with the rebound back to Dorsey. Dorsey can't get it to go. Magby will take a turn. Can't get it to go. Here come the Indians. Finally, Talbert will steal it back and we'll start all over. She lost it. My Lord, here come the Indians. Good job by Ajo. Knock it away. Knock it out of bounds. They were trying to get it to steal down low. <laughs> 
41-33. Here we go, battle with the ball for the Indians. Trying to get it to steal, Dorsey got a piece of it, knocked it out of bounds. Stevens back in the game, Talbert will take a breather. And get it in, Age, you got a piece of it, Indians will keep it. Over to Knox, got it down and out of bounds, Panthers take over. Here comes Stevens. Stevens will take a three. Boom! Got it! That's what we need from the outside. Some shoot. 44-33 now. Battle with the ball. Behind her back. Trying to find a spot. We're going to have a foul. Let's see who it's on. Number 13, Stevens. That's going to be her third. 4.58 to play in the game. Folks, don't go anywhere because there'll be another great game after this one. Good move in there by number 23. That's Hamilton with the basket. She had 10 in the second quarter. She's had four since then. Panthers throw it away. 44-35, here come the Indians now. Trying to tighten it up. Battle, trying to get Dean back in the game with four fouls, she got to be careful. Dorsey traveled, man, she was trying to get rid of it and couldn't. She needed some help. Humphreys will bring it in. Got it to steal. Dorsey will take it from her. A long pass. Magby will cut it off. Lays it up and in. Down hard. Good job by Magby. We got a foul. Let's see what's on. Basket will count. 22. That is Humphreys. That'll be her second. Carter says... Come, Panther, let's get it, let's go. Surely. Boom, good job by Magby, made it a three-point play. 47-35, Panthers on top now. 4.25 to play in the game. Indians trying to stop the bleeding here. They need some baskets and some defense. Stevens with the rebound, here come the Panthers. As good as the Indians were in the first half, they can't buy nothing. They're playing like the Panthers did. They cannot get a basket. There's another miss around the rim. Steal a throw it up, missed it. We got to have a jump ball and finally we do. Panthers will have the possession. <clears throat> Under four minutes to play now. Talbert bringing it down for the Panthers. Talbert looking, taking her time. Plenty of time on it. They got it to D. Uh, good job, Dorsey down low. She was behind the basket, took the time to get back out in front of it. Good job by Dorsey. 49-35. Steele throws it up and one. Uh-oh, let's see who this one's on. Oh, number 11, Asia. Thought it might have been on Dean. Steele with the basket. She'll get, try to add one here to it, make it a three-point play. 49-37. Off the backboard and in the basket. Good job by Steele. Here comes Dean. Dean will get it across half court. Hand it off to Talbert. 3.10 on the clock. Clock is running. Panthers up by 11. Asia with the ball. Over to Magby. 
Back out to Stevens. Stevens will back up. Back to Magby. Magby thought about it. Back over to Stevens. Six seconds. Five, four. You got the shoot. Talbert will drive in. Throws it up. Won't go. Dean trying to get it. Does. Panthers got a new 20, a new shot clock. Asia will throw it up. It won't go. She'll draw a foul. On 23, that is Hamilton. That'll be her second. That'll put Asia at the free throw line. Got it. Good shot by Asia. 50-38 now. Second free throw on the way, won't go. Steal with the rebound for the Indians. They trying to get it out. Good job by the Panthers. Boy, be careful. Oh, she traveled. Boy, thankful that Dean was fixing to get her fifth foul on battle. Miss Clay says, let's go Panthers. Landing gang says Panther times. Dorsey with the ball. Panthers lead by 12. They get it to Dean down low. Won't go. Got her own rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Good play by Humphreys. Knocked it out of bounds. Panthers keep it. Got the helper. They do. Get it in. Talbert with the ball. Talbert got it to Dorsey. Dorsey back good. Talbert finally come around. Good job. She hesitated a minute, but finally went to the basket. 52-38. Well, folks, tomorrow night, Panthers are going to get this one. Tomorrow night, it'll be Clinch County versus Atkinson County for the region championship right here. We'll be doing it live. Knox with the ball, she'll throw it up. Got it, good shot by Knox. <laughs> 52 to 40. Panthers were down by nine in the first half at one time. Whatever the coaches said at halftime, they need to say before the game tomorrow because I'm going to remind you. Good shot there by Talbert. Because Atkinson County will be shooting the ball tomorrow. 55 to 40. I want to remind everybody, I thought they were fixing to call a timeout. After this game, me and Daniel will take a break. We'll leave the camera rolling. Dorsey had it blocked just a little bit. Here come the Indians. That's Humphreys with the ball. Drives in, lays it up in the end. That was number 23, Hamilton with the basket. Rick Kendrick, my buddy Rick, said Marty and I in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, watching tonight with the grandkids. We appreciate y'all tuning in, brother. We got one more game. It'll be between Lanier and Turner. So the Clinch County Panther boys team will be playing for a championship and the girls team tomorrow. Both teams from Clinch County will be playing for a region title. We don't know who the other boys team is. We will know probably about 10 o'clock. 55-42, Indians have it. They come out and they stuck it to the Panthers. They couldn't buy a shot. Oh, that's gonna be on Dean and that'll be number five. Dean will foul out. 
She did good. She had four fouls in the third quarter. She'll end up with 10 points tonight for the Panthers. First shot up, it won't go. Second shot on the way, off the rim won't go. Asia with the rebound, Morris with the ball. We're gonna have a foul with 25 seconds. Game's over by 13. We're gonna delay it a little bit, it looks like. It's not a shooting foul yet. Magby with the ball, she'll give it to Talbert. With 21 seconds, they foul. There needs to be a rule. If you're down by 12 or more with 20 seconds, you can't foul like that. But that gives Talbert an opportunity to make some more points. Panthers will take them. 56-42. 57-42. Here come the Indians, let them go. She lost it out of bound, Panthers have it. 15 seconds to play. Come on, let's get it over with. Dorsey will sit down. Man, I got to add all them points up. That's 10, 13, 16, 19, 20, 21, 22. I got Dorsey with 23, and there's another foul. With 12 seconds, still got a chance, though. Still got it, 57-42. All right, here we go, Morris with that big three start at the rally for the Panthers. There's another one. She's got four points tonight. Second shot on the way, got them both. Good job by Morris. 12 seconds. Calls the end of game, trying to get a steal. She'll hustle now, calls you, Will. She's going to be a good player for the Panthers. Well, we'll have enough. The Panthers will foul one now with five seconds left. Up 59-42. I bet we have one more foul for the game gets over. What are you going to bet? <laughs> Could have two. Rebound, and they're going to let that one run out finally. Panthers will win. Come from behind, 59-42. to 42. It sets up a big rival game that's been a rival for years, but not like, it used to be a great rival, but now it's back to that. We'll see the... Lady Rebels here tomorrow against the Clinch County Panthers for the region championship. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a little bit. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. 
Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Be merry this holiday season at the Mary Agret, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday-themed gifts. The Mary Averitt has everything you need to make every day a holiday. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Aver House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tricoat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. 
call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day.
All right, folks, here we go. Game four between Lanier County and Turner County. Lanier is 2-0 against Turner this year. They beat them by three one time and by a point another. Number 24, Hashan Sears. That's how competitive our region is here. 24, Daniel, I don't have his name. He must have a different number hey, than last time. Number one, Chris Lockley. Number two, Eli Miller. Number four, Sam McGriff. Number five, James Clarkson. And number 11, MJ McGriff. All right, you've got Locklear, number one, North, number two, number four, Sid. McGriff, number five, Clarkson, and number 11, MJ. For Lanier County, the Bulldogs. They'll be in their white uniforms. Turner County will be in their black. You have Val, or Val, excuse me, Terry, Hillman, Tennille, and number 24. I think it's Caradine or Caradine, I'm not sure. Who won the girls' game? Clinch County won the game. It's going to be Clinch and Atkinson. All right, Turner will win the toss. Here come the Titans. Number 10, he'll get it over to number one. The great basketball player Val is down to number two. That'll be a foul. On number two for Lanier, that's North. That'll be his first. Terry at the free throw line for Turner. Good shot by Terry. One to nothing, Turner County on top. Second free throw on the way, got them both. Good job by Terry. MJ bringing it down for the Bulldog. Great basketball player for Lanier. Over to North. Back to MJ. Back to North. Trying to get it down low to number one. That's Val. Or excuse me, that's Locklear. Locklear puts it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound in there. North almost got it. Val has it for Turner. Oh, he was out of bounds, man. He got it to Hillman down low, but he was on the line. MJ will bring it back down for Lanier. MJ back over to number five, Clarkson. Back to North, back to MJ. All the way back over to five, long three off the edge of the rim. That was Clarkson with the three. Couldn't get it to stick. Here comes Turner. Two to nothing. Seven minutes to play in the first. Val bringing it down. Oh, MJ kicked it. Turner will keep it. Val will bring it in for Turner. Over to number 15, that's Tennille. Back to Val. Val, thought about a long three. He'll give it up to Hillman. Tennille with the ball. He'll drive in, throws up an eight-footer, won't go, jump ball. They both went down to the dirt. Both of them had it. Oh, man, he busted his eye. Bleeding pretty bad on the court. They're going to have to clean it up. He come down on the side of his face. That's number 15 to Neil. Hope the young man's all right. They'll super glue it up. He's tough. He'll be right back out there. Looking for little Winston's around here somewhere. They'll clean it up. There's the long arm of the law. Little Winston will come out here and get it.
When you're the AD, you do everything. All right, here we go. Two to nothing, Turner on top. Winston's even going to clean the ball for him. Spit shining it. <laughs> I think they want a new ball. Coach Terrence, he's got them locked in the locker room. He'll run, go get one. So that'll give me an opportunity, I think, here. I want to remind everybody we're at the Clint Memorial Hospital is having a patient healing garden for outpatient therapy and physical therapy. All right, we got a ball clean now. I'll have to tell you about that in a minute. Here we go. Here comes Lanier, MJ, bringing it down. He'll kick it over to number five, Clarkson. Back to MJ. Got it down to number one, Locklear. He'll lay it up. Oh, it didn't stay. Would not stick. Third one tonight for Lanier that wouldn't. Val with a long three. Boom, got it, Val. Five to nothing. Turner on top. Clarkson with it. He'll give it up over here to MJ. Long shot won't go. Here comes Turner. Got it over to number 10, Henry. Henry with a three won't go. Turner fighting for it. Lanier comes down with it. Clarkson with the ball. He'll pull up 15-footer. Got it. Good shot. Five to two now. Val with the ball. Good pass. Back door down low. Couldn't get it to go. Lanier, they're fighting for it. Call, usually they call a jump ball. We got one down north. Fell on his arm, man. He's all right, he says. He got poked in the eye, it looks like. Here we go. MJ with the ball. Back over to number four. Oh, in and out, won't go. Put it back up and in. Good job by Locklear. And they go inside, that's gonna be a foul. On number two for Turner, that's Terry, that'll be his first. All right, here comes MJ down the court. Back over to number four, that's Jackson. Or excuse me, that's Locklear. Good job, good movement by Lanier. Bow with the ball, he'll pull up inside the three, won't go. Number two, Terry with the rebound. 23 will steal it, that's Rice. Here comes Lanier. Clarkson. He'll give it up to MJ. Back over to Sed. Back to MJ. Sed looking, back to MJ. Spin move, he got it down to Locklear. Pulls up, won't go, rebound in there, Sed. Back up and in, good job by Lanier. 
eight to five now. Lanier on top. Val bringing it down for Turner. He'll give it to Martin. Martin will pull up just inside the three. It'll go out of bounds. Oh, almost a good save. By number 10, he couldn't hold it. Bulldogs have the ball, and they want a timeout. We'll stay right here. I can get that last. All right, Clinch Memorial Hospital asked that I share this news. They're in the process of designing and building a patient healing garden that will allow their occupational and physical therapy and swing bed patients to rehabilitate outdoors. You can support these efforts of expanding the occupational and physical therapy services provided by Clinch Memorial Hospital by purchasing a brick paver in the garden. That's right, you can have your name or you may purchase a brick in honor or in memory of a loved one to be permanently placed at Clinch Memorial Hospital. Call 912-470-2401 for more information. That's a good thing to do. Me and Daniel's done we're going to do two, one for our captain, Mr. Barry and Sutton, and one for Creek Box. All right, Bulldogs had it said, got it over to Rice. He'll lay it up and in. Ten to five now, Lanier on top. Foul with the ball, he'll kick it out. Got it to number five, that's Dulce. Dulce lost, lost it, Rice. Oh, he stepped on the line. Here we go. Turner will bring it in. Knocked it out of bounds. No foul. Val will bring it back in. Got it to number 10, Hillman. Over to Martin, back to Hillman. Hillman dribbling around, looking for a shot. Buckler almost got a steal. Oh, number five lost it. Martin driving in, he'll lose it. 14 on the shot clock. The winner of tonight's game will play Clinch County tomorrow night at 9 o'clock for the region championship. Look out, Lockley, boom, there it is. A two-hand dunk by the Bulldogs and Turner will call timeout 12 to 5. Lanier on top, we'll be back in just a second. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future All right, here we go. Foul on number five. That's for Turner. That is Dulce. That'll be his first. I need to give a shout out to the middle school baseball team. They went to Lanier County Thursday and won five to two. Well, you can go over to Lanier and Win a baseball game, but that's doing good. Lanier's usually got a great team. Good backdoor pass, number five, Clarkson. will put it up and in. 14 to five now, Lanier on top. Foul over to number 11. That is Martin. Martin drove in, can't get it to go. Five with the rebound. He'll put it up. That's Dulce. He'll draw a foul. That'll be on number four, Sid McGriff. That'll be his first. Here we go, Dulce at the line. First shot, he'll miss it. 
Terry checking in for Turner now. Number 14, King will take a break. Dawsey's second shot on the way. Oh, it went in and come out, knocked out of bounds. Turner will keep possession. I guess he said McGriff must have knocked it out of bounds. Turner will keep it. Henry will, uh, Isaiah will getting ready to check in the game for Lanier. Got to get it in. Boy, that was close. Nope, five seconds. It wasn't. I knew it was getting close. That'll be a turnover for Turner. Bulldogs have it. McGriff will bring it in. MJ will bring it down. MJ dribbled around. Good steal there, number 10. That's Hillman. Takes it all the way. He'll miss it. Good job by McGriff to get a piece of it. Five with the rebound for the Bulldogs now. That's Clarkson. He'll get it over to three. He can't get it to go. That was Isaiah. Here comes Turner back now. Dalsey with the ball. Drives in and won't go. Number four said got it. He'll give it up to MJ and here come the Bulldogs. Under a minute to play here in the first. MJ, he'll give it back over to number four. That is said. Clarkson with the ball now. He's going to drive in, use the backboard, won't go. We got a foul, and that's going to be against number five, Clarkson. That'll be his first. 41 seconds to play. Dalsey will bring the ball in for Turner. Number four, Jackson twisted his ankle. He'll take a seat, let him look at it. Dalsey with the ball for Turner. Makes a move, lost it. North got a piece of it, almost stole it. Got it back to Dalsey. He's going to put it up, blocked in there by Locklear. Finally, Lanier with the rebound. Isaiah, he'll give it up to MJ. 18 seconds, clock running, no shot clock. Bulldogs will take the last shot. Ten seconds. Eight seconds. Oh, he lost it. He slipped his foot. Turner has a chance to finish it here. Oh, man, he should have shot. Val was wanting him to shoot. After one quarter, it's Lanier 14, Turner 5. We'll be back in just a second. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Avery House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, Chevy find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the second quarter. Lanier leading Turner 14 to 5. Here we go. Jackson with the ball. He'll pull up, won't go. North had it, 24, knock it out of his hands. That's number 24. I don't have his name. I apologize. We're going to call him number 24. North with the ball. Throws it all the way across over to Clarkson. Clarkson pull up 15-footer, won't go. Rebound in there. Lanier got it, man. Oh, Locklear had it, lost it. Here comes Turner. Hillman with the ball. He'll lose it. Here we go. MJ with the ball. 
He'll get it to North. North deadly from the outside. Good pass by North. Got it in there to Sid McGriff, and he'll put it in. 16 to 5. They're going to take a break. We will, too. We'll be back in 30 seconds. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. All right, here we go. Turner with the ball. Number 24 has it. He'll get it over to number 10, Hillman. Oh, good save. He almost lost it. Jackson, he'll give it up. Good move. 24 to the basket and got it to go. Finally, Lanier was on a 16 to nothing run. They trailed 5 to nothing. Look out. North, that'll be short. Here comes Turner now. Hillman with the ball. He'll throw up a three off the back of the rim. Won't go. Offensive rebound. Got it back to 12. Locklear got a piece of it. Man, they're going to get him for a foul, I think. God. He got all ball, but he come through and just did get him on the hand. That'll put 12 at the free throw line. First one off the back of the rim. North will take a break. Rice back in the game for Lanier. Second shot on the way for 12 off the back. MJ with the rebound. Here come the Bulldogs. Long pass trying to get it to Rice. Good job there by Terry for Turner. He lost it from Lee. Oh, but he got it back. Good job in there by number 12. <laughs> 16 to nine now. Turner on a four to nothing run. Oh, they get it to Rice down low and he'll draw a foul. I think it's going to be on number two. Nope, they're going to call it on Val. That'll be his first. Val plays defense. He'll use his five fouls. You got five for a reason. Rice at the free throw line for Lanier. First one on the way. Off the back of the rim won't go. Second shot on the way for Rice. Got it. Nothing but net. 17 to 9. 24, bringing it down for Turner. They get it to, oh, good job by Lanier. They'll get the steal. MJ with the ball. He's going to drive in. He'll kick it out. The Clark's in with the long shot. Won't go. Four, almost had it. Sid was up high. Lanier, he knocked it out of bounds. Turner will keep it. Martin back in the game for Turner. Jackson bringing it down for Turner. These are two good teams playing tonight. Long shot by Turner won't go. 11 with the rebound. That's Martin. Oh, it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Lanier has it. Boom, big shot, three-pointer for Lanier. 20 to nine now. Rice. 
Rebound in there by Rice, and here comes Lanier right back down the court. Clarkson with the ball. Over to MJ. Looking for Rice down low. He does a good job working that body. MJ dribbling around. Oh, they got him tied up. That's going to be a foul, and that's going to be on Val. That'll be number two. 4.27 to play in the first half. Don't forget, folks, tomorrow night we'll have another full day of basketball. There'll be four more games. Third and fourth place will be played first. The girls will start at four. The boys will start at, what is it, 5.30. Good job. They got it in to number one again, Locklear, and he'll put it up. Eight points for Locklear tonight. He's the ball player. He's already got a big dunk. They're going to get it over to number 12. He'll hand it back off to 11. That's Martin. Martin will kick it out to four. Got him up. Good pass down low, but he overrun the basket. 10 with the long shot off the rim. Won't go. Two with the rebound. He'll put it up. Won't go. Got it again. Let's see. Get slapped away that time, and it'll be a foul. Let's see if it's on Rice. Nope, number one, that's Locklear. That'll be his second. Let's see if Lanier, yeah, they're going to set him down. Can't afford to lose him. He got two fouls. You don't want him to get three before the half. Terry at the free throw line for Turner. First one on the way, off the back of the rim. Turner just cannot hit a free throw line, a free throw. Locklear will sit down with eight points for Lanier. Martin will take a break for Turner. Second free throw on the way for Terry. Can't get that one. They've missed four in a row now. Here comes Lanier. Clarkson with the ball. He'll dribble around. He'll get it over to number four. That's Sid. Sid driving in. Won't go. A rebound. Valve, number one for Turner. He'll bring it down. He hit a three in the first quarter. Hadn't done nothing since there's one. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Man, they called charging. Boy, that's his third foul, too. He'll have to sit down. We won't see him to the second half. Boy, that was a big foul. MJ will bring it in for the Bulldogs. He'll get it to North. North back to MJ. Here come the Bulldogs. MJ taking his time. Dribbling around. Oh, good job. They got it to three. He'll pull up. Five footer and got it by Isaiah. 24 to nine. Jackson with the ball for Turner. He'll lower his head and drive in. He won't get it. Two with the rebound. He won't go. Rice has it for Lanier, and here come the Bulldogs. Got it to Rice. Clarkson with it. Got it to North. MJ thought about it. They get it to Rice in the paint. Looking, they'll knock it away. Number four did. That was Jackson. Good job. Here come Turner. Oh, he run to the basket. Good pass. He laid it off to number five, Dawson, and he'll put it in. 24 to 11. We got a foul. That's going to be on number 13, and I don't have a 13. I don't have a 12. We're going to call him 13. All right. Clarkson will bring it in. MJ with the ball for Lanier. Been moved by MJ trying to get to the basket. He will. Oh, he lost it out of bounds. Made a good move to get to it. Up, 
Turner has it now. 13 will bring it in. Hillman going to let it roll and roll and roll. Boy, I know Coach Lee Douglas loves that. <laughs> it's thrown out of bounds. <laughs> Hey, he's running the clock. He got his finger on the button. Hey, don't you? hey Lord. Lanier with the ball. Let's see who this one's on. Oh, we're going to have a tick, too. That's going to be on number two. That'll be Terry. He got a foul. That'll be his second. That'll put Locklear at the free throw line, and he's a good, excellent free throw shooter. And it's going to give Lanier the possession, 137 to play in the half. First one, in and out. I jinxed him. Second shot on the way, he got that one. Nine points tonight for Locklear. Now North will shoot. I guess that's the tech. He is an excellent free throw shooter. First one, look at there. He's a great three-pointer shooter too. What's bad about this, Lanier will have possession also. Second shot on the way for North and got them both. Good job by North. 27 to 11. Bulldogs trying to pull away here. Biggest lead of the night, 16. MJ with the ball. They get it in the four, back door, good job, got it to five, up and in. Clarkson with the basket. Good ball movement by the Bulldogs. 29 to 11. Turner driving in, he'll kick it to 15, got him up in there, that was 12, excuse me. I think that's gonna be on Rice, folks, let's see. Yep, number 23, Rice, that'll be his first foul. That'll put number 12 at the free throw line for Turner. We appreciate everybody from Turner, Lanier, Watching Creek Box, and Atkinson County. Shot on the way, it won't go. Rebound in there, Rice for Lanier. Here come the Bulldogs, MJ with the ball. Oh, he got up high, and it hit four. It worked out perfect for the Bulldogs. He got up and looked, and he didn't see a man, so he just threw it, and it went off one of the Titans players and out of bounds. In short, the Bulldogs will keep it. Four driving in, got it in the paint. We're going to have a foul, no basket. Oh, man. Boy, jump ball. They roll around on the floor fighting over it. They don't call it. But boy, you get up in the air, they'll call it. MJ will bring it in. Lanier with the possession. They got it to Clarkson with a long one off the rim, won't go. Dawsey with the rebound, here comes Turner, under a minute now. Good pass down low to 12, can't get it to go. Turner just cannot make a shot. 24 with the ball now. Dawsey has it. 40 seconds to play in the first half. 10 back to Dawsey, he'll throw up a three, won't go north with the rebound, here come Lanier. He'll give it to MJ, they'll take the last shot. Shot clock is off. Look for North somewhere. There he is. They'll get it to him. He does an excellent job waiting on the last shot. They get it back to MJ. Ten seconds now. Plenty of time. Clarkson with the ball. They get it into Locklear. Turn around. Jumper got it. Good ball movement by Lanier. 
That's going to do it, folks. At the half, Lanier 31, Turner 11 total points. We'll be back here in just a little bit.
All right, everybody, we're back. Turner down quick to get a basket. Val put it in. MJ will pull up for Lanier. Can't get it to go. Long pass out to number 11. He'll lay it up and in. Oh, I didn't think Locklear got into him, but they're going to say he did. Good job by number 11. That's Martin with the basket. Top scores for Lanier. Locklear with 11 at the half. North with two. Isaiah with two. McGriff said McGriff with two. Clarkson with eight. Rice with three. Turner, do you get Big David coming up right there? Hey, <laughs> David got that big pickle he finna eat. <laughs> hey. He'll look in the jar and get the biggest one. <laughs> Here we go. They'll drive in number five. That is Clarkson with another basket. He has 10 for Lanier tonight. 33-15. Bow with the ball for Turner. Got to be careful. He's got three fouls. That's a turnover. Here comes Lanier. He'll kick it out to North. The long three short. Rebound number four, almost lost it. it. MJ right on the end of the nose. Ten with a long shot won't go. We got a foul on number one. And that's Val. That'll be four on Val. No, they called it on McGriff or Locklear. That'll be three on Locklear. Martin with the ball. He'll kick it over to 24. Back to Martin. Long three off the rim. Won't go. Rebound in there. Number two for Turner. Tried to drive in and get it. He traveled. Terry was trying to get on the other side of the goal. Isaiah back in the game for Lanier. Rice will take a break. Here come the Bulldogs. They have been all over MJ. They were playing tag. He'd be out. Number four driving in. Good move. <laughs> Said with the basket. <laughs> I got to take a picture for Scott so I can send it to him. <laughs> Good job there by Turner. He'll lay it up and in. I sent that to my buddy Scott. David chomping on that pickle. We got a timeout. I need to give a shout out to our sponsors tonight. My buddy Chad Brown's been watching all night. Representative there. For the DuPont District County Commissioner, we appreciate all he does. Homerville Jewelers, Clinch Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program, Dre Snack Shack, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Pizza Inn of Waycross, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm, Camping World of Alasta, Napa Auto, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Walker Jones of Waycross, Burke CPA, Lux Brown Insurance, more farms right there in Maynard, Georgia for the best produce in the world. Huey's One Stop, Douglas Metal, Richard's Meat, Seafood, and Famous Barbecue Sauce, the Averett House, the Little Averett, and the Mary Averett. Forgot to give our shout out to Duke Jackson, one of the biggest fans in Clinch County. Every time we're on Creek Box, He'll watch it. Y'all please keep my buddy Blake Pittman in your prayers. They're supposed, I think, to have a softball tournament tomorrow out at the rec park. If y'all not doing anything in the morning, ride out there and support Blake. 33-17. 
Lanier with the ball. North driving in. Off the backboard. Up and in. Good job by North. Four points tonight for North. Ten driving in. Won't get it. Isaiah with the rebound. He almost lost it. He'll get it over to MJ. He'll get it back to North. North over to Sid. Back to MJ. Oh, we're going to have a fight. No, they said he traveled. Thirty-five, seventeen, five, eleven to play in the third. Here we go. They're going to roll it down. He'll pick it up at half court. Hillman with the ball. Number two off the backboard. It won't go. That was Terry. MJ with the ball for Lanier. Behind his back. Again, behind his back. He dribbled more behind his back than he does in front of him. Good pass. Got it. Isaiah lays it up and in. Great play. Great play by the Bulldogs. 37-17. Turner will kick it out. Number 11 with a long three and got it. Martin with a three. Five points tonight for Martin. 37 to 20. Turner trying to hang around. Good pass north back to Isaiah. In the paint, they finally get a jump ball. I think Lanier has the possession. Let's see. King in the game now for Turner, number 14. Yep, Lanier has it. MJ will bring it in. He'll get it to North. He'll throw up a three. Boom, got it. North finally warming up outside the line. 40 to 20, back to 20 points. King with the ball, and he threw it out. He was trying to get it to 24 and he didn't break on the ball. Here come the Bulldogs. MJ dribbling around. Got it down to Isaiah in the paint. Off the backboard, won't go. Rebound, oh, number five saved it. That was Clarkson. MJ had done cut the wrong way. Lanier will turn it over. Dulcie bringing it down for Turner. He'll drive in off the backboard and won't go. Said with the rebound. He'll give it over to North. Back to Sid. He'll hand it off to him, uh, number five, excuse me, that's Clarkson, drives in, throws it up, won't go. North almost tipped it in. 24 with the rebound, and we got a push. And that's gonna be on North, and that'll be his second. Foul coming back in the game. For Turner, he's got three fouls. He'll bring it down for Turner. He'll kick it over to Martin. Martin driving in, he'll be blocked. Let's see, we got a foul. That'll be number three, that's Isaiah. That'll be his first. Number 11 at the free throw line, that's Martin. Missed his first one, second, wow. Oh. <laughs> he faked the shot, let's see what they're gonna do. He's just going up real slow, I think they're gonna give him another one, yep, they will.
You can't fake it at the free throw line. He's going to stay. He always hesitates when he shoots. Good shot there by Martin. Six points for him tonight for Turner. 40 to 21. Lanier will bring it in. Clarkson with the ball. He'll give it back up to Sid. Sid all the way to the basket. He'll lay it up and in. 42-21. 11 drives in. He'll lay it up and in for Turner. That's Martin with another basket. Clarkson bringing it down. He'll get it over to Sid. Three-pointer shot by number 11. That was MJ. Come up short. Turner with the ball. He'll kick it out to 10. A long three. Off the rim. Won't go. Dawsey drives in there. Blocked by number three, Isaiah. And here come the Bulldogs. MJ driving in. And let's see. Oh, they're going to call that on MJ. That'll be his first. Hillmon will bring it in. Here we go. He'll roll it out to Val. They'll let it roll to half court. He rolled for 45 seconds. <laughs> Good pass, Dulce to number 12. He'll put it up and in. He has four points tonight for Turner. 42-25. MJ with the ball. Here come the Bulldogs. He'll get it over to Sed. Down to Isaiah. Off the backboard. It won't go. Val with the rebound for Turner. He'll kick it over to 10. 10 driving in. Let's see. He traveled. That was Hillman. All right, said will bring it in for Lanier. Turner's going to be in a press now. They got to do something. It's been all Lanier from the get-go. Turner jumped out to a five to nothing lead, but then Lanier went on a 16 to nothing run. Clarkson over at the bench. I think he's looking for a towel. He got one. There's a wet spot on the floor. Hillman cleaning it up. Well, folks, we got here at 2, and it's 25 to 10. Me and Daniel have been here about eight hours. All right, Clarkson with the ball. He'll get it over to number four. Said, said, North will save it somehow. He got to it. Oh, almost lost it. Almost he did. 12 stole it. Lays it up and in, number 10. Hillman with the basket. They're going to call that on number 11. That's MJ. That'll be his second. Forty-two, twenty-seven, one thirteen to play in the third. Hillman trying to make it a three-point play here. Oh, won't do it. Here come the Bulldogs. MJ with the ball. Oh, good save there by Isaiah. Got it to North. Back to MJ. MJ drives to the basket. He'll pull up at the free throw line. It won't go. Isaiah with the rebound up and in. Good job by Isaiah. Six points for him tonight. 44-27. Turner with the ball. Martin has it. 
35 seconds, clock's running. Dawsey with the ball for Turner. He'll give it over to number 12. Back to Hillman. Hillman driving in, won't get it. It rolls out of bounds. Turner will keep possession. 19 seconds to play in the third. They get it into Dulcie. Dulcie trying to drive in. Does a loop de loop, but no good. Number four, Sid McGriff was on him. That'll be his second foul. Garuna Walker says, let's go Titans. We appreciate you tuning in, buddy. Dulcie at the free throw line for Turner. He'll be short. 16 seconds to play in the third. Second shot on the way, he missed them both. MJ with the rebound, he'll get it out to number five, that's Clarkson. Clarkson to Sid. Sid driving in, it'd be blocked. Here comes Turner, long pass to number 10. Somehow got it in. Hillman with the basket at the buzzer. What a play. Man, he went hard into the wall. I don't know how he got the ball off. We'll take a break. We hope the young man will be all right. We'll be back in just a second. Be merry this holiday season at the Merry Agret, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday-themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. All right, folks, here we go, eight minutes away. If Lanier can hang on, it'll be a Lanier and clinch right here tomorrow night. About 8, 30, 9 o'clock, this place will be packed. Locklear with the block, North struggling for it. Boy, he fell on the ball right there with his ribs. Man, I know that hurt. MJ has it, he'll dribble through. Turner all over him. And get it out. Number five, that's Clarkson dribbles in. Turner will steal it. Here come the Titans. Val will dribble through three of them, lays it up, and won't go. Hard collision. Oh, number one's down. Man, I hope the young man's all right. Oh, Locklear is down, number one. We're going to take a break when they check on him, and we'll be back. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Averitt House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. And then a Lonky Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker. Don't 
forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the Mary all right, folks, welcome back to Creek Box. Man, number one, Locklear for Lanier. Coming off the court, he, man, putting no weight on that left ankle. We pray that he's all right and ready to play tomorrow night for the Bulldogs. He is a big key to this Bulldog puzzle. Turner with the ball, number 12, drives in, and he'll lay it up and in. Six points for him tonight. 44-31 now. Lanier has it. Good pass. They'll get it into Sid. Sid got it over to Rice. Off the backboard up and in. Rice with five points. I want to remind everybody to circle your calendar for May the 4th. Biggest yard sale in Clinch County. This will be the biggest yard sale in Clinch County this year with clothes, furniture, household items, and more, not to mention barbecue plates, bake sales, and more fun for the kids. If you're interested in donating your spring cleaning items or any items to the yard sale, to make it easy, Clinch Memorial will come pick up the items for you. You don't even have to be at the house, folks. To schedule a pickup, call 912-470-2401. Don't forget to save this date of May the 4th for Clinch County's biggest yard sale. All right, Turner with the ball, 46-31. Six minutes, 52 seconds away. Dalsey with the ball. Oh, good job by North, knocked it loose. Dalsey will save it. The foul is, it's going to be on North, I'm afraid. Yep, that will be his third. They got to get a towel. Man, a lot clear. Maybe they got him in some ice, Coach. Little Winston, the AD's over there helping Lanier. Probably getting them some ice. A wet spot on the floor. The referees will clean it up. Here we go. A long ride for these kids back to Turner County tonight. They've been here all day. Dawsey with the ball drives in. Won't stay. Man. Four with the rebound for Lanier. That's said. Got it to MJ. MJ looking back to Sid. Oh, Sid had it stole by number 12. Here comes Turner now. Turner playing with the extra step. They just can't put it in the basket. 12 with the ball. Lost it. MJ stole it, but they get it back. Man, Martin with the ball. Dawsey with the shot. He'll put it up and in. MJ with the ball, 46-33. Lanier trying to put it away. They get it to Rice under the basket. Good ball movement. He'll lay it up and in. 48-33. Got MJ in the air. Oh, overshot it. North with the rebound. Here come the Bulldogs. He needs help. He will. He'll get it to Sed. Back to North. North driving in, that'll be a foul. That'll be on Dulce, number five. That'll be his second. 5.39 to play in the game. Turner still has a little bit of fight left in him. What are we doing? This will be a do-over. One referee wasn't ready, the other one was. Go. 
Lanier's coach does not like the call. I don't blame him. They wonder if he held it up. Oh, what a bad call. They brought it in. They actually had six players on the court. Turner did. And that's what he's saying. But here we go. I hadn't seen one change his mind yet. McGriff has it. Oh. Boom. MJ with a big three. His first basket of the night. 51-33. Let's see now. Number 11, that's on MJ. Warning, number 11, that's MJ. I guess he said something. Referee will warn him, and their coach will pull him out now and set him down. Man, they've been slapping all night. It's been rough on MJ. Coach is saying, use your head. We got bigger fish to fry tomorrow night. Foul with the ball. He'll pull up, 12 footer side, he's gonna be a foul. Number four, that's said that'll be his third. And get it back to number 11, that's Martin with the ball now for Turner. Turn around, jumper, won't go. Rice with the rebound for Lanier, out the north. North will slow it down. He'll give it over to Clarkson. Clarkson looking, they can't get it, he saved it. Back out to number four, that's Sid with the ball. Back to Clarkson. Clarkson behind the back, good movement over to North. North will drive in, 10 footer, got it. 53-33, back to 20 points. Four minutes, 30 seconds to play. Val knocks one down. Seven points for Val. Turner staying in a full court. They get it to North. North will dribble around. He'll get it to Sid. We got a foul on number 10. That'll be Hillman. That'll be his first. Said will bring it in for Lanier. Jackson, the number 12 in the game for Turner. Said bringing it in, looking, he got it to North. North dribbling around, looking, he'll back two. Got it over to Said. Said back to Rice, to North. Fed with the ball. They burning some clock now. Isaiah driving in and one. I'll tell you what, that young man played some good basketball tonight for Lanier. They're going to call that on number 12. That'll be his first. That'll put Isaiah at the free throw line for Lanier. In and out, won't stay. Rice with the rebound. Turner will reach in, number four, Will Jackson. That'll be a jump ball. Dawsey back in the game, or trying to come back in the game. Let's see. They get it in the north. North. He'll give it back up to Clarkson. Clarkson in the paint, looking for some help, got it to North. All the way across, back over to Sed. Lanier wants a timeout, we'll take one too. We'll be back in 30 seconds. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, 
Call Gregory to schedule Richard's Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my buddy, Daniel Munoz, up top running the camera. Lanier back up to 20. It's stage 20 most of the night. North will miss a three. Here come the Titans. Bow bringing it down. Oh, he lost it. Look out, here comes Clarkson. Oh, caught from behind, knocked out of bounds. Lanier will keep possession. MJ back in the game for Lanier. Rice will take a break. Clarkson with the ball over to North. Back to MJ. Back to North. Got it to Clarkson. North with the ball. Lanier burning clock. Under three minutes to play now. 2.45, clock is running. MJ almost had it stolen. Look out, a long three, got it. Clarkson with the shot. Oh, McGriff, Fed with the steal. MJ with the ball. He'll get it over to number five. That's Clarkson. Got it. 60 to 35 now. Biggest lead of the night for Lanier. Long three by Turner. Won't go. Said with the rebound. Got it to Isaiah. Lays it up and in. Turner wants a timeout. Two minutes to play, we'll take one, two. We'll be back in just 60 seconds. As part of our commitment to convenient healthcare and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. All right, folks, here we go. Turner with the ball. They trail by 27, knocked out of bounds. Turner will keep it. Lanier getting ready to put their JV in. The starters will take a break. You got Gabe, number 31 in. Henry, number 10. Number 25 is Carswell. 22, I don't have, folks, I apologize. And number 15, Brunson in the game. Turner's got their young ones in also. Turnaround jumper, 14 in. Gabe will bring it in. 22 will bring it down for Lanier. He'll give it up to Brunson. Brunson over to Henry. Back to 22. He needs some help, he did. He got it to Brunson. Brunson lost it, here come Turner. 24 lays it up, he'll draw a foul. 101 to play. Well folks, tomorrow night, 
It's going to be the Boyd Region 2A Championship game. It's going to be between Clinch County and Lanier County, the number one and two seeds. That'll be the Boyd's Championship. The girls will be between Atkinson County and Clinch County. Be some good basketball tomorrow, just like it was tonight. 24, can't get it to go. 31 with the rebound. That's Gabe. Here comes Lanier. Oh, I said Brunson traveled. Turner will take a three off the rim, won't go. Brunson with the rebound. He'll give it up to 22, and here come the Bulldogs. He'll dribble around. He'll kick it back over to number 10. That's Henry with a long shot off the backboard and got it. Big three-pointer by Henry. 65-38 now, Bulldogs. 45 with the ball for Turner. He'll get it to number 13. Down to 23, that is Hightower. Hightower throw it up, won't go. Got his own rebound. 24 with a three, wrapped around the rim, won't go, and that's gonna do it, Goat. 65. 38, the Bulldogs will win and they'll slide into the championship to face the Clinch County Panthers. Want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be back tomorrow starting at four o'clock. You'll have the girls.